All right, let's do this one warm-up game. Wood. Where there is evil, I shall go. Looking like a Kale game or a Nico game. What are you supposed to do with the rogue crown? Oh, rogue moored. know how to play it, but I didn't feel like any of my other angles were good. Wait, so... Who are you supposed to uh, get rid of? Which rogue do you drop? Graves? Actually, like very lost here. Wait, this guy is going double trouble of rogues. Uh oh. Unlucky. This world is frayed and in need of mending. What am I gonna do here? Need a glove. There's an echo, but the item is not good. real or is this fake
I mean, I'm gonna lose anyway, I might as well. Yes, I am a weapon. I need a Nico really badly. What? Yo, golden ticket's not balanced. And this guy's double trouble graves. The entire world's playing reroll. This is very exciting. Okay, so. What can I possibly do? I'm contested really hard. I could hold hands with my contester. We go 7th and 8th. I could try to play something creative. Probably go 8th place. What are my options here? I think I just have to roll it down. Or I could wait and see if I get an augment. Okay, wait. This is crazy, but I actually believe that if I wait, something good will happen. Okay, call me crazy. But I'm down to try something insane because I know that my opponent is rolling down and like there's no way I hit. I'm pretty sure neither of us are hitting. All right. Down to pump one level here. Probably don't stun this. We want us to lose. Maybe stun it halfway through the round. Oh wait, was this too much? Oh no, I cashed out. My my two lost streak tilt over. Okay, are you guys ready for the most insane win streak you've ever seen? Give me a level up. Oh my god, final reserves. Uh, it actually could be. I could just like lose trigger tilt over until that point. That seems really gambly. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's cybernetic leech here. Gunner crown? No, I'm not really playing gunners. I'm more playing rogues. Actually, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Leech. Okay. Who needs a beat down? I actually have some pretty good itemization. All right, have you guys ever seen Tempo Rogues? I'm a chef. 
I'm cooking up something crazy. We don't reroll here. I won't be a sheep. Tempo rogues. Yeah, like I, what am I playing? I have no idea, but like, I just go seven. Actually, I'm done to do it this round just to make sure I don't lose. Yo, what's he cooking? I have no clue. R four rogue, four gunner. He's a chef. Wait, how, did the, how the hell does this guy hit graves and has 40 gold? That is some mad luck. What the hell? But I kicked his ass anyway. Night, night. All right. Yeah, I'm down to uh, try to play a Rogue Kaiser. So I'm pretty sure Rogue Kaiser wants bows here. So how do I want to do this? Uh, we have we have our four rogues. Hello, Inspector Cubone. Welcome. We have our four rogues. Then you want Mordekaiser in there. You drop Graves. And then who's the Noxian that you throw in? Uh, I think, what Noxian do you throw in? Yeah, I guess anything. Scion, if you can somehow hit it. I'll just assume it's like Swain for now. What else would you play? I'm not sure what else you'd play. Yeah, I was thinking like, what if you did Kale Quinn at this point? But that's kind of difficult. Actually, wait, this is kind of amazing. But it requires level eight. But yeah, it's actually like kind of an amazing comp. Uh, let me roll a little bit here and try to stabilize my board. Whoa! Wait, I need um, I need like one upgrade. One upgrade, please. Okay. Wait, I'm actually- I'm actually a chef. Who would have guessed that BoxBox would come up with this? Alright, so let's get out of Piltover and into Rogue Slayers. Do I win this? I think I win, but I'm not sure. Overtime almost saved him, holy shit. Okay, yeah, so how long do I want to keep this Piltover and Gunners? Not for a very long, huh? I need a Kiana, though. I think I need to sack three and then set up my board. So what am I missing? I'm missing the Mord, the Kale. I, I, I already have the, the Noxus. I'm missing the Mord, the Kale, the Jarden, and the Kiana. Oh, I'm missing quite a lot. Night, night. My room 
Um, I'm gonna roll because I have so many pairs here. I gotta remember all the units I'm looking for. No, just die. Where there is evil. One more upgrade now should be good. Yeah, it's probably fine. I think I lose. I think my board's finally falling off. I really need Echo too. He's got my items. I don't think I can roll much further though, because I need to go eight. On the bright side, like I can sell this Aphelios Jace Jinx later for a lot of money. I think I'm ready for my pivot. I changed the Mord. Wait, another Cyber Leech? Isn't that all? best in slot? Double Leech. Pretty sure that goes crazy. Oh, maybe it's bulk. Do we need even more Omnivamp? Wait. Do I want double leech or do I want leech bulk? Yeah, if I'm playing rogues, it's probably double leech. Let's get oh, right. Okay, this might be a throw. This might be a throw. Because uh, I gave up my Econ for like a small power spike. I know I can sell my Aphelios later, and I thought the Bruiser might keep me alive, but that might be a misplay. Unless this was a Bruiser diff. If we even Bruiser diff one fight. Oh, this is actually a Bruiser diff. Dude, Grandpa Graves holding down the fort. Okay, that's probably not the right play, but I was kind of down. It was kind of spicy. Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually just the best player in the world if I if I pull this off. So what needs to happen here? Uh, well, first we just keep rolling. Maybe I hit one echo. Demacia is counting on us. No. I don't think we care about this Quinn too that much. It's not higher priority than the Mord and the Jarvan and the Echo. How am I gonna pull this off though? Okay, I, pro I probably lose my streak here. I I want to just sell all my gunners now. I, once I make the pivot, I have so much money to roll. Whoa! Can you guys hit the Nyla? Madge. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make the pivot. I'm gonna have like 30 gold to do this. Uh, basically, I'm gonna sell all my gunners, my piltovers, and then we're just gonna like roll for one stars of the board. And if it doesn't work, eh, warm up game. If it does work, I'm the best. Cool? Cool. I don't know what I even wanted here. I, I have no idea what Rogue, Rogue Kaiser even wants. Now. Okay, um, Jarvan, Mord, basically. The world may fall to darkness, but Noxus will remain. Every soul shall serve. Okay, 
I need to fix the radiant item. Okay, uh, sack one and then roll down. Honestly, I kind of got that pivot clean. I sold exactly the correct units and put in the correct units. I just didn't fix the radiant item. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with my item situation though. Oh wait. Uh, I'm down to roll down to 20 and see if I can hit like an echo or something. Okay. One echo is a big deal. Can we hit one echo? Dude, am I just the best player in the world? What an insane pivot. Hello, Shunchu. Items on cat instead of echo. Uh, if I three star, I'll save this remover. Like, I'm pretty sure two star. Oh, actually, because I have Noxus. I can see it. I have no idea what the Mordekaiser items are. But maybe this is fine. I can either remove. I can either sell Echo and then remove Mord. Or I can um, remove Echo and keep Mord. Or keep Echo. Um, I just go nine. Pathetic. Where there is evil, I shall go. Uh, what do I see here? Archangels. Actually. I, I don't know if this was correct, but I I was pretty lost. I wanted the Nashers, and I wanted Sunfire. Okay. I think I'm trying to go 9 here. The only thing I can roll for is a Jarvan, a Cat, and a Kiana. I guess that's actually a fair amount of things to roll for. Let's roll. Great, now I'm ready to, to move on. I've cybered my whole front line. All right, Mord, get to the back line. What a cool build. I combined the long Mord with rogues. The long Mord that we used to force. Did I just get owned? Okay. Wait. I think I got owned. No. Okay, I'm not making it a nine, am I? Let's roll it down. Wait, how many cats out of the pool? Oh, no wonder I'm not hitting cat. Maybe I should just go nine. And this probably just goes right back onto her. No, maybe unironically Jarvan. It'll help him get some more casts off.
Hey, I'm playing for like a fourth here. I'm too contested. If I can get fourth in an overly contested game, I'm just the best player in the world. Rogues behind you. Nothing personal, Zaya. I still died. Nyla! I wanted that Slayer spat. Okay, uh, well, I'm gonna die like in, in a couple fights. I guess I just roll it down for Scion and Quinn. Yeah, let's just roll it down. I'm, I'm like right about to die. Can we hit a miracle? I command you to die. Oh, that's all I got. You sold Aatrox? Yeah, I mean, you can't really play him. I didn't hit the Slayer spat. Aw, oh, it's Jover. Damn, this whole lobby is so low. Sucks to die here. My Rogue Kaiser play wasn't good enough. I was almost the best at pulling it off. But yeah, I mean, what else are you supposed to do when you say, okay, I guess I could play gr Graves here, and then another guy takes double trouble Graves, and he hits double trouble Graves 3 on 3-1 uh, with 40 gold. Sometimes there's just not much you can do. At least that's the warm-up game. I'd be, I'd be more depressed if that was the real game. All right, he also hit Cat 3 while I had six Cats. Sometimes that just happens. I think sixth place is pretty good there. Are you not playing on the Chinese super server? No, I don't know how are you even supposed to do that. I didn't hear about it. Also, um, I don't I don't plan on playing TFT after today. Today's my last day of TFT. We're gonna go out with a bang. We'll be back in a month for set 10. Oh wait, Asa's here? Did someone drop out so that Asa got to play? That's my alarm, in case I missed my other seven alarms. I, I set oh, seven alarms. I woke up at 10 a.m. and then I slept in like snooze minute, five minute intervals until uh, 11. Hello. Kev K four oh one. Thanks for the resub. What are you gonna stream after? Uh probably League. Maybe Valorant. Maybe Street Fighter. We're just gonna do whatever. It's gonna be like a vacation month. Maybe we'll finally do that Baldur's Get Run.
But yeah, I feel very, um, what's the word? It's like post nut clarity, but like I wasn't horny before. I was just like really into grinding. And then now I'm like post nut clarity and I'm not into grinding anymore. So yeah, like I'm very happy with my performance this set. We hit 1100 LP. We got to day four of the Noxus Cup. Whatever place that I get here, I'm already happy with how far I got. And then I can relax for a month and then I'll have a fresh brain ready to grind set 10. I had a lot of conflicts with this set uh, in terms of like the balance. So uh, it left a sore taste in my mouth, but I have faith that the um, dev team will do well and set 10 will be a banger. When is set 10? I think it's like in a month. It's pretty soon. What if you win today? Uh, that kind of suck. Because I don't really want to play in regionals. Or, oh, I'd play the regionals, but I don't want to like study. But like, I know if I don't study, I'd embarrass myself in regionals, so I'd, be, I'd feel pretty conflicted. I mean, we're, we're realistically not making it to regionals. There's 32 players, and only the top four go to regionals. You have to, like, top four and then top four. Like, I think if you fourth place every single lobby, you're not making it to regionals. You have to, like, get third every lobby on average. Yeah, I think it's an average placement three. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I'm gonna try my best. I, playing TFT when you know that you have to average three is very different from when you know when you have to average four, though. You basically, like, have to take a riskier play and then just, like, pray that you hit. Which is probably what I'll do today, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'm gonna mauled really hard if I don't hit. But, like, not hitting is probably gonna be common because you have to take really aggressive plays to win. But yeah, like, this is the time to play Piltover, Egg, Cursed Crown, Recombob, Shifting Sands, or Pandora's Bench. Well, I'm really happy for Asa. I didn't realize he made it in. If you guys didn't see, Asa, like, tied and didn't win, so he, like, didn't make it by, like, zero points. He just, like, had slightly worse, um... Like, I think he had, like, less first places than the guy who he tied with, so then that guy won. But it looks like somebody dropped out. Hello, Merritt Glenn. If somebody else dropped out, Froden would have gotten to play as well. All right. Oh, thanks, Mort Dog. Good luck today. I will do my best. This is the furthest I've ever made it into a tournament, so I'm kind of excited. We've been blessed by Mort Dog himself. Maybe our shops will be better today. This is where I hit my Mordekaiser on five, or my Zaya on five, or whatever build it is we're playing. All right, I'm gonna turn off my alerts. I'm gonna close the chat. I'll see you guys after the first game. <sighs> Oh, thanks, Mort Dog. I gotta pull up my notes. Pull up my calculator. Pull up the list. Okay, 
I actually like have not used my notes one time. The only resource I've used is a calculator. All right, let's do this. <sighs> Just gonna do my best. I don't expect to win. Alright, remember Albert, Serpentine River equals play for win streak. Carousel Pryo does not matter. Oh! Okay, never mind. Not the sump, not the. Okay, okay, I could take faults. Karma Tarek? The Karma's not very useful, but the Tarek can be. Unfortunately, Karma's just a really weak unit right now. Otherwise, this would be very good synergy. Wood Ixtal? Oh shit. Let's start the show. Wait, Wood Ixtal. If only it was Karma Tarek Nico. Oh my god. Tarek Nico would have been crazy. But it's okay. Looking like a Vanquisher game. Pretty standard. Let's start the show. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're probably selling Malzahars if I have to. Prismatic. Uh, well, it's not Void Crown. Can I get something that's good for my current setup? I don't think it's Caretaker's Chosen. That is an Ionia Spat. It might, it might actually be that. It looks pretty uncontested. I might just slam that Ionia Spat. I don't think I want to do Training Dummy. It's too risky. All right, I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure we're doing it. Okay, so. We're probably gonna do Ionia, Ionia. And then I'm gonna rush to six Ionia. And then if I can make it to nine, I go nine Ionia and win the game. So that leaves me open to something like level up as a bailout. I think I like that. So I'll lose and make sure I get that sword. Okay, there's a few loose streakers. Let's go ahead and figure out what everyone took. Lucky Gloves, strong early game. Oh no. Asa is definitely contesting me. He's definitely doing Lucky Gloves into Vanquishers. Buried Treasures something. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to sell board here. Uh, some flex play. He's not, he's not decided yet. Golden Ticket Rogues. 
uh, Piltover. I'm not sure what this guy's playing. I feel like Caretaker's Chosen is pretty flexible. Uh, Pandora's items, and he chose to keep the Dragon's Will. Interesting. Not sure what his... I actually don't know what people are playing yet. Usually you can kind of tell immediately. Interesting. Very flexible group. Well, it's very obvious what I'm playing, and unfortunately I'm contested by Issa. We're going to be holding hands. The only upside I have is that I get first dibs. There is a Piltover player. I mean, if I if I end up beating the Piltover player, it's actually fine with me. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going for a win streak after this carousel. Aw, I was hoping I'd face the Piltover guy right now. It'd be super high roll to face him. Grief his streak and then I start my uh, win streak. But yeah, let's go Ionia, Ionia, and then RFC, Nyla. Looks really solid. And then with two Ionia spats, you can either do uh, six Ionia, four jugs, four Vanquishers, or you could go nine and do nine Ionia. The nine Ionia play is only possible if you hit level up. Or if you somehow save a billion HP, but I really doubt that. All right, give me a sword. Oh, three gold sword my way. Noise. I've always wondered if Ionia and Vanquisher spat was better, but I know the Ionia Ionia line better. If you do Ionia and then Vanquisher, there's probably like another configuration that's really good, but I don't have it memorized. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to win streak now. Although I'm not sure if I can do it. I'll have three Ionia and then. Hmm. One life to give for Ionia. I must make it count. Okay, not actually sure if I should try for the win streak. I'm down to just like sit, and then if I win, sure. Okay, nice. I think I made the right choice. I weakened my board for the last second to not win. Oh, wait, actually, I was probably gonna lose anyway. Yeah, I was probably gonna lose anyway. Okay, I, I should go out of my way to lose this next round. It would actually really suck if I faced Piltover Guy now. Okay, so what's the weakest board I could play here? Probably Cassio Malzahar. Oh, I'll try to not make it obvious. Keep your enemies close. Okay, so... Nice. I kind of hate that this strat exists, by the way. It doesn't feel like good play, but I felt like it was my only angle, given the augments I had. Now I go six, and then I hit six Ionia, and it should be a big spike. I think I have to sack one more. Sack one more, see if I get offered level up, because if I do, I think that's a free win. It's not a guaranteed free win, but it's like a very good path to first. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and slam one Ionia spot right now just to make sure I don't lose. Pretty sure it's better than the fawn. And then hopefully I get a bow. Just get Ionia and Nyla, it's, it's insanely good. And specifically don't level in case the next thing is crazy. That's not bad. Uh, even Shroud. 
Probably just slam that right away. And then, what do I need for six Ionia? I need a Karma. I have but one life to give for Ionia. I must make it count. We pray for a bailout. This is day four of the Noxus Cup. To win day four, you need to hit something crazy. And on average, you just get like insane placements. So we're no longer playing for a top four. We are playing for first. And I'm just gonna hope that I can like first most of my lobbies. Please hit this Graves. Oh my God. No. Okay, okay, come on, level up. Level up, I win the game. Level up, I win the game. Or hedge fund. Oh, stolen vitality is great. Pretty sure I actually double level here. I get one Nyla. Uh, any any Ionian. Stolen Vitality, I feel like would work well with um, Bank Crests, but this is all good. Okay, uh, now we just play for the win out. So I'll actually just take my time. I, I should be able to win streak now. I feel like, unfortunately, when you play like hard lose streak, this is what you have to do. You have to then go really hard on the other side and go for the win streak. Okay, so I'll itemize this Ash as if she was a Nyla. I'll chill like one more round and then I'll roll. The real spikes want to hit one Zaya, one Nyla. However long that may be. But like, I should be good enough to win for now. I think it'd be a, it'd be a, it'd be a minor throw to roll right now, just because I'm already gonna win. No need to spend more money. Let's just hope that my level seven luck stays good. I feel like we've been locked in since the beginning of the game. All that matters now is how hard can I hit. So let's get a bow on Carousel. Oh my God! Imagine a bow on a Zaya or a bow on a Nyla. I'll, I'll even take like a sword Zaya, glove Zaya, glove Nyla. But otherwise, I'm just taking a bow. If I had to, I guess, yeah, I'd take Glove Sword. They're probably equal priority after a bow. Alright, come on. Zaya on Carousel with a bow. Nyla on Carousel with a bow. Come on! Oh, Zaya on Carousel with a sword. Down. I'm sorry, Nyla, you'll have to get your RFC somewhere else. This saves me for a lot of rolling. This makes sense I don't have to roll until to wolves. How's everyone else doing? Samira reroll, but all of his items are on Cassio. It's weird. Sell the karma for now. She comes back at level 9 if we can hit. If I have to, I'll slam Giant Slayer, but I don't think I have to. I don't see a world where I, I, I lose at least this early on in the game. Asa has not rolled down yet, but he's going to do a big level 7 roll down, and that's going to be scary. I think on creep round, I need to roll down to 20 and try to like pick some of the Zayas out of the pool before he does. 
this is probably a roll at seven until you hit a two star forecast. But I still have a lot to hit. I still have to hit a two star set, a two star Irelia or Shen over Irelia. Uh, a replacement for Nautilus, two star Darius, Nyla one, Zaya two. So many things to hit. This should be a very productive level seven roll down. All right, do I lose any of these matchups? Oh shit, this guy looks very strong. 30 stacks, Aphelios two. I'm actually gonna roll a little bit here. Can I get like marginally stronger, like one set? I will the I never hold back. All right, that is marginally stronger. Okay, imagine if I beat him because I got marginally stronger. That guy looks actually quite terrifying. Oh no. No! Even with my spike? No! He's that strong? I'm pretty sure I was the strongest player in the lobby. Oh, Zaya. Not us three might randomly happen. Wait, is this a spat? Oh, what the hell? Wait, could this be Ionia or Vanquisher? Oh my god, wait. Wait, um... Fuck, I need to think. I, I need to go eight now. I need to go eight. If I go eight, I get six vanquishers. Can I make it to eight though? I hit Zaya too, surely I can make it, right? Wait, Ionia Crest? Wait, I actually don't even need Shen now. What the hell? Wait, now, now all I need is the Nyla one. Oh wait. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Okay, if this board's not good enough, I'll roll down for one Nyla. But like, this should be good enough, right? And then... I, I see the angles. I see the angles. So, I go eight, I throw in Nyla, and I have like, the god board from that spot. Yeah. It's actually the god board. Uh, six Ionia, six Vanquisher, four Jug. And then I'll rebuild this Ash. Yeah, that, that works out perfectly. I also have the world's most talented Nautilus. Insane high roll of spatulas, but I'm still losing. I'm not sure why. Are other players just that good? What's going on? Oh my god, I, I have to roll. Really? Fuck. Okay. No Nylas. One Nyla. Okay, I have to roll, unfortunately. 
One Nyla, please. Okay. All right, and now we pray. All I do now is just position. Once I can go eight and then throw in this ash, I become significantly stronger. But these boards are looking quite scary. Am I seriously that weak? I know my frontline kind of sucks, but I feel like the damage that on my board is crazy. All right, well, let's grab a gun blade. I feel like I cannot justify rolling here. I can hit one Darius and a Miracle 2 Nylas. I feel like I have to go. Maybe I sell Nautilus. But Nautilus would be my immediate next in. Fuck. I'm so close to leveling. I think I'm just going to gamble it. I know people are getting really strong, but... I just got to gamble that I win this round. No. Okay. All right. Well, all I can do is level up here incredibly off tempo and then pray that this board somehow wins out. Honestly, I thought I crafted a crazy board, but it appears I was wrong. I thought this was sick. I know it massively lacks frontline, but I thought the damage would be so good that it didn't matter. I did my best to kill off the two rods, I made every single spat useful, and I hit the two Sarzaya. Is this just an incredibly high roll lobby? Oh god. Oh no, he's back to eliminate me. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, I got owned. I thought I had a crazy board, but it was apparently not crazy. I hit my spike, and then I just lost five rounds in a row and died. I hit first, I got augments that made sense, and then I died. The only thing I would say was bad about my team was that I didn't have a front line, which I don't think I could solve there. I did my best given what I had. Holy shit. And like, it wasn't even close. I was not close to winning a single fight. Dang. I got owned. This is a game where I don't even know what went wrong. Like, we didn't have any very good angles, so it's like, okay, let's go force Ionia. Let's go lose streak Ionia Vanquishers here and do two Ionia spats. Okay, sure, that makes a lot of sense. Then we hit Stolen Vitality. It's like, okay, that's sick. And then we hit Zaya too. Okay, that's even sicker. Then we hit Ionia Crest to hit our board even earlier and hit, hit an even crazier spike at eight. And then I hit everything and then I died.
the only two possibilities here are either this lobby is incredibly high roll or or the lack of a frontline was just so bad but like my frontline wasn't non-existent two-star set two-star nautilus and jugs in the front there was definitely a frontline just not a top tier frontline but i definitely played everything that i was given so i'm not sure what i should have done there Holy shit, this guy just hit two-star Scion. Like, I'm definitely not weaker than Asa, but he looks like he's doing fine in his rounds. Asa's board is just mine, but he played more HP and uh, worse late game. Wait, did I just get matchmaking diffed, actually? I'm looking at these people and not all of them are strong. But everyone I faced looked incredibly strong. I faced Piltover Cash Out Guy twice. I faced Demacia High Roller. I actually don't even know what happened this game. I don't think there's much point in thinking about it much right now. I should just focus on the next game. Well, let's play even more first to eighth than before. It was crazy. This is my first 8th place in the tournament. Which is both sad and also like a, a good sign. The fact that we've only gotten one first or one 8th place until this point is kind of crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is just a high roll lobby because this guy had a crazy board. This guy was 30 stack Piltover Cash Out with 2 star Fearless, 2 star Scion, multiple Radiant items, 2 star Sijuani, insane Piltover board, and he went 7th. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is just a high roll lobby. I don't know how the hell he even lost from that spot. I, When I lost him, I was like, oh, this guy's going first. If he was that strong before his Cash Out and then he got even stronger, I cannot imagine a world where he loses. And I didn't see who killed him, but somebody killed him. LDP Zaya Shen. Oh, maybe Setsuko is just the best player in the world. I looked at his position earlier and I did not think it was a good position. He was on um, Casio 3 with zero items. No, sorry. He was on Casio 2 with three items and Samir 3 with zero items. And then I was like, oh, that sucks. And he was level five. And then now he's level 850 gold, three star everything, and then two star front everything in the front line. Hasn't lost a round yet. Is he just the best player in the world? How the hell did he turn that around? He rolled six Samiras at five. I'm trying to think, like, that must have cost so much money. Unless he, like, unless he got, like, a five Samira shop. That must have cost him a lot. Like, how did he make it here without losing a round?
And he was so strong the whole way through, too. It's just Vertical Noxus. Was it really that crazy? I feel like Vertical Noxus is such a normal build. How did he pull that off? Other than some answer like, he just like hit everything really quickly. I can't imagine how this works. He's like, he's got items on a one-star cat. But he hasn't lost a round yet, so maybe he's just the best player in the world. He also didn't hit any specific Noxus augments. Yeah, he, okay. I've, I figured it out, he's just the best player in the world. I don't know how he managed to pull it off from this spot, but that's kind of crazy. He's a wizard. Everything about it, I figured out where my game went wrong. The real like game's fucked moment was when I went to seven, hit my board, but then I lost the Piltover guy. And I don't think there's anything I can do about that. That's just like bad luck. Piltover guy just fucked me in the ass. Well, I mean, what you could do is say maybe I'll get fucked by Piltover guy and then not do it. But I was too low. I think I had to do it. I was like massively loose streaking. I did not have a board for the first stage of the game. I'm pretty sure we had to go for it. Just pray you don't face him. Or if you do that, you're, you're strong enough. He rolled down on this round. It was like, uh, what was it? Three, three, seven, three, six. He rolled down on three, six, spiked really hard. And immediately I faced him, lost my streak. And then I lost just enough HP such that I couldn't sack. Like you saw how awkward it was that I, like, I couldn't make it to eight by just a little bit of gold. I was like, man, if I just like wait two rounds, go eight, and then get a Nyla, I win the game. But then I couldn't. I had to roll down at 7 for Nyla, and then I made my board a lot weaker as a result. Or my final board a lot weaker. And then I had to hit my spike at a really awkward time, and then I just faced Piltover Cash Out Guy again, and died. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. That is actually just bad luck. That's just like bad matchmaking luck. Because there's no world where you don't go 7 there. Because if you stay 6, saying like, oh, let me stack a little bit more, then you're going down to like one life, and then you just like die. You like get one bad matchup against rogues, and then you die. You definitely like need like 30 HP to even play the game. I'm trying to think like, was there another pathway? I don't think so. I feel like all our augment choices were correct. Of the choices I was given, I'm pretty sure uh, double Ionia Spet was the right play. It was realistic, it was possible. I already had half the build, and then there was like a chance where you get first given certain augments. And then otherwise you could easily play for a fourth. I feel like it was the correct play. I have no regrets this game. I'm just mad about the magic making RNG. I, I'm going to just play massively first or eighth next game. And then either I go eighth again and we can just detach ourselves from TFT or we, um, we win and then we stay in it mentally for a little bit longer. My camera is off center. My camera's centered around. What the heck? Oh wait, can I get the can I get the Ionia spat? Oh, that's fine. My god. What a large scion.
You know, I noticed that uh, nobody has uh, animation finishers, and I'm pretty sure it's because animations are pay to lose. If you're in a really intense game and you animation finish someone off, you can't interact with your shop. So if you're in a situation where it's like, oh, I need to win the round and then buy the Shen, you can't. I should probably do that too, but I just like the cutscenes. They bring me like, uh, what's the thing in your brain? Endorphins. All right, anyway, uh, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys after next game. Uh, I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm gonna ask Master for permission to go all out and I'm gonna play a first Wraith build. And either we brack with a first or I'm gonna be really depressed. But I mean, what else can you do here? There's no, you cannot claw your way back in with fourth places. You could on day four, day three because you only need to be better than half of the people to move on. Here you have to be better than 87.5% of the people to move on. And moving on, quote, quote, is uh, go to regionals, which is fourth. Fourth out of 32. So the only real path forward is to, like, average a two from this point onwards. You know, I haven't gotten the boss in a really long time. I'm down to get bailed out by the boss. What are we waiting for? But it keeps winning. Wow. Oh, they have a spectator client that can view two matchups. Oh! Go for the strongest board. I like. 
like this from Emily. Don't go on the gimmick. Don't go on the chant. Build a Scion to start. Is it a Warmogs on a Atrox? And your other fight against uh, the Nilo was very close as well. So this is what I was talking about with Roby earlier, Admirable. Is you get yeah, it's Warmogs a Atrox. Very good at capping boards, and this is a really unique way that he's done it. I'm guessing we're waiting for this game to start before we start the next one. And it's just, it's something that's, that's really different with when you have that thought on it. My eyes on the right side right now. Stage 7-1. Does that mean we have six Aatroxes? What the hell? I think she was actually at seven and then she sold one uh, for the Scion too. Oh wow, Emily Wang loses? Well, I'm really surprised her board lost. Wait, how how strong was the other guy if she loses there? Gargantuan scoped weapon slayer Nyla too? Is that really strong enough? This board does not look nearly as strong as Emily Wang's board. Oh wow, Emily Wang's gotta be pissed. Her board is definitely by far the strongest. I think that was just bad fight RNG. Oh wow, she, she actually is whipping. Look at this. Pew, pew, pew. Oh. Oh. Brain trucks with a steel chair. Oh. Yay, double trouble rogues. That board is definitely a hit and instantly win board. Oh, I'm the host? Are we supposed to start? I don't know why I'm the host now, but... When are we supposed to start? I've, I've been checking Discord. They haven't said anything. Oh. Okay. All right. According to the calculations, the calculator says 
So we started off with our first eighth in the tournament. Okay. Uh, if for the rest of the tournament, or currently, according to the calculator, the average placement of eight over the course of one game is eight. So for me to improve this, I need to go not eight, something like seven, which would then bring my average placement to 7.5. So if we were to go something like eight and then seven and then seven and then seven and then seven and then seven, that brings our average placement down to a nice seven point one six 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 seven. Uh, if I were to go one and then one and then one and then one and then two, that brings my average placement to a cool two point two three three three, which is enough to win Nox's Cup. Cool. I mean, when you say it that way, like what? Why didn't I just think, why didn't I just do that? Okay, uh, how about a more slightly realistic simulation? What if I go like four, then three, then two, then one? That would actually like barely make it. Well, it would definitely make it to the, there's two cutoffs. There's one after game five where the bottom half is eliminated. And then after game six, the bottom half is again eliminated. This would barely make it to game or the final game, I think. Okay, I mean, why don't I just go four, three, two, one? Okay, all right. We're gonna play like a little dartboard. Uh, whatever place I get this time, I'm not gonna get that place next time. Incoming first, it's like, all right, guys, whatever we do, don't get first. I mean. I I feel like I played that game fine, and I just got owned by matchmaking RNG. I feel like my board was strong enough to get first place in a lot of other games. I like hit the nuts, and then I just died, right? Like the only thing I didn't have was like a Nasus two instead of Nautilus two. But like aside from that, my board was basically perfect. And then I just like I still just like five lost into a death, so. I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to just like try to hit something and then if not then I'll die. I wonder what we're waiting for. It was like a really long wait. It's been like 15 minutes. It's like so long that I have to play a second ad break to prevent an ad break from playing in the middle of the game. It's so weird streaming and talking, but I can't see my chat. You guys could be theory crafting out what you think the letter of the day might be, and I'll have no idea. I can only open my chat after the game. Dude, imagine how OP it'd be to have my chat open. Dink dong, fox box, your radiant item. Oh my god, I'm already first. I, I already won the tournament with with just that. Hey, box box, is your reminder that you're young, wild, and free? This is your reminder that you have the dreaming pool. All right, this is taking too long. In protest, I'm going to draw a circle. Really?
asteroid launcher. Ooh. All right. I'm going to drop an asteroid. Uh, on Colorado. And it's going to be one mile wide and it's going to travel at 250,000 kilometers. Sorry, Colorado. Uh, an F in chat to anyone who happened to live here. All right. And now I'm going to drop a giant one on the Hudson Bay. Oh, I can't. It doesn't let me. All right. Ugh. I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys after the game. Lol Tyler1 hits 1400 ELO on chess.com. Starting in maybe one minute. Oh. All right. I'm going to take a nap. I'm down for Hearth Home Force Fiora Radiant Titans or Radiant BT. Yes. Down for Hearth Home. I feel like a lot of people don't play Fiora, so I think I might be able to sneak away with this. Although, once Hearth Home is selected, I'm definitely more likely to be contested, but. If I want to play for it first, I could see something like a Fiora getting away with it with the right augments. Okay, I'm also down for Radiant BT boss. Actually, yeah, yeah. 
Could I have that one specifically, Mort Dog? Could I specifically have a Radiant BT on my boss? Okay, or Forger, I like that. Above average start. Okay, now give me like three gins. Okay, one Irelia is close to three gins. I have but one life to give for Iona. I think in Hearthholm, uh, super units are really OP, so Cho'gath is actually worth keeping here. I don't like Chobitem, but if it happens to be a Cho'gath angle, like a Radiant Redemption or a Radiant Declaw on him would be huge. Oh? Wait, I'm getting it. Oh! I'm getting excited. Aw, oh, I'm no longer excited. I have but one life to give for Ionia. I must make it count. Yeah, I'm no longer excited. Keep your enemies close. Two star Cho'gath here would be, would have been the Pog. Oh wait, it, it's actually a Cho'gath game. This is very exciting. Oh, Morning Light. Wait, what's the Ixtal? Oh fuck, I don't actually know. I don't think it's early education. Wait, endurance training? This is exactly the kind of comp that could get first. I feel like I lock it in even though I don't have uh, the units. Oh, someone else already hit the boss. I'm gonna lock it in. Me Cho. All right. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. It looks incredibly shaky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It looks incredibly shaky, but like this is exactly the kind of first wraith build that I need to uh, have a chance. Endurance training, Cho'gath. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm gonna need some like god tier RNG. I'm like very mentally detached from the results of this tournament. I've already made it to day four. I'm happy. I started off with an eighth place. The only way I can realistically come back is just like top two every game from now on. Let's just play balls to the wall. Force an incredibly- Okay, one Choga! Sorry, I'm getting really excited. Okay. So I need to like basically natural a Choga at three. If I can hit Cho three on four one, I'm actually like in the best spot ever. Part of me wants to roll down so that I can hit my Cho'Gath 2 to start stacking. I probably shouldn't. I should just full Econ. Oh, but I'm not gonna get any Endurance training. I actually like barely play this build at all. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, one kill. Okay, please, I'm begging you, Mortug. One Cho'Gath in my next shop so I can start stacking. Please, don't make me roll for it. Please. No! That's the wrong purple unit, man! Keep your enemies close. That's the wrong unit! Demon Flare. Idealism. I actually feel like I'm supposed to roll once, just because it'll start stacking up a lot and start saving HP. I'm gonna roll one time. <sighs> oh fuck, I'm a psychopath. Why did I do that? Oh. Okay, a stack! Oh, 
One more, one more stack. No, this Poppy's too tanky. No more stack. Oh wait, 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 wait. Actually, one more stack. One more stack. <gasps> oh no! He was he was about to eat! He was he was right there! <laughs> Fuck! He was right there, man! He had to walk! One gold bramble vest. I'm not very happy about it, but surely it's it's still good, right? Completes an item right now. I could have taken the Vi with cloak and just try to like get both items, but I'd rather just set up a full item right now. I need to like save HP and start stacking. I noticed that majority of the game is AP this game. Would I ever do this for now? I feel like I would, yeah. Uh, I don't play this build very often. Actually, let me see what my notes say. Uh, primary Curry Cho'Gath. Renekton, Cassio, Malzahar, any backliner uh, as a secondary. So it looks like Malzahar is fine. I have four Malzahars, so maybe we'll just stick with Mel's. Oh, I don't have any healing reduction. Oh, but Cho'Gath goes up to Jin. You're so smart! Eat! Eat! Yes! Eat again, eat again! Oh, no stack. No stackies. I don't think I care about this Velkaz very much. I'd rather make Econ. Plus 195 health. Not to mention endurance training. Dude, this actually is like, I like kind of smell a first here. You smell it? It could happen. This is the makings of a first place board. All I have to do is high roll. But like, the foundation's there. I just have to get Choke at three eventually. Okay, I'm pretty sure I win this one as well, even though it's all AP. Dude, I can't sit still, I'm so excited. This is like the first time I've had fun in weeks. Just like gambling for Cho'Gath. I feel like I'm at the casino. I don't feel like I'm playing a game. No stacks! No! Aw, oh, I lose. Oh wait, maybe I don't lose. Hang on. Let Malzahar cook. Oh. No stacks though. Okay, how can I maximize the amount of stacks Cho'Gath gets here? So first of all, let's go ahead and bench. Okay, and then... I think if I just play all bruisers here, it makes Cho'Gath really likely to be the one to get the stacks. And I make him take all aggro. I think this is the way. And then he should be the one who gets all the kills. Hopefully, come on, stack it. Oh, he's not getting the stack. Oh, you got the kill, though. A duplicator? I prefer the blue one, because I'm rerolling Cho'Gath, but this is fine. Okay, what does Calculator have to say about my roll down here? Oh, man. If only that was a different unit. Okay. Uh, let's roll a little bit and see what it looks like. I think I'm just rolling. Who needs a beat down? I'm pretty sure I'm just rolling. Yeah, we're just rolling. Rolling really slow because I don't know what I'm doing, but... I only need one more Choga. Pog! Oh, I should actually keep rolling. I should roll down to zero here. See if I get any of the other units. 
Okay, and then now I now I duplicate the Cho'gath. What's the best thing? Oh, Bruiser Heart would be insane here, right? I think All Natural is also good. Well, it's not like I'm Specialist. Uh, it's probably All Natural. Oh, wait! I'm not even I'm not even gonna duplicate him. I'm not even gonna duplicate him. He he'll he'll come to me and I'll use his duplicate for his Silco too. Yeah, yeah, Renekton, you listen to me. I'm the boss here, all right? You give, you come to me. I'm not duplicating for you. Good boy. Good crocodile. All right, now I reforge this into a cloak specifically. Okay, honestly, not bad. That could be a Sunfire. Would I ever settle for Gargoyle? Probably no. I feel like I'm gonna win out for a while. God, am I just the best player in this game ever? Oh my god. I'm just the best. I had to give on Vi and Cassio, but like, th this is such a good spot. Eat my Cho'Gath. Eat! Yes, grow stronger, me boy. My me boy is dead. I have absolutely no idea how to play this build, by the way. We're just gonna figure it out live. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do it live. In a tournament, day four of the Noxus Cup. Here we go. If I can't get the cloak, I will take the belt, but I'm pretty sure belt's gonna be gone. It's a Mord. Uh, maybe a rod or tear for uh, Malzahar. Oh, 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 fuck. Fuck. Come here, come here, come to Papa. Come to Papa. No! Oh, yes! All right, quickly, Albert, what do the notes say? Uh, get a bruiser emblem. Okay. <laughs> Let me just do that. Oh! Wait, I have a Cassio one in. I. Oh my god. Why did I? Oh. Wait, I have an Ash. I'm the best. God, Albert, you're so you're so resourceful. Oh, surely that doesn't bite me in the butt. Slamming that item right now. Okay, notes say, get a Bruiser Emblem forehead. It says, Endurance Training, Gifts of the Fallen, Martyr, Titanic Strength, uh, Unified Redemption, uh, Bramble Vest Redemption, Declaw. Sure. Uh, Renekton should hold Sunfire or Spark. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, possible Replacement. Anima Visage. Okay, so if given the choice between Cassio and Malzahar, choose Cassio. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Cassio. I mean, someone else was rerolling Cassio, so I didn't think it was going to happen. Okay, looking at this, it totally could have happened, though. Oh man, yeah, I'm just imagining my board now if I had a three-star Cassio. Okay, I wasn't even that close, right? I was at five Cassios. 
If I if I kept rolling, I'd be at like seven Cassios right now. Like maybe maybe you could duplicate for it, but nah, this is fine. This is fine. I, I cannot be complaining right now. Like this this luck is so good. I got a very early chobe item. Hopefully I keep up my five streak. I have no idea how to position. So like we're just like gambling here. Like surely chobe item does well into rogues. Oh wait, this isn't rogues, this is Nico. Uh, I really need a Sunfire. Eat, Cho'Gath, eat! Grow big! Wait, 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 let him eat! Let him eat! <laughs> My team's so inconsiderate. Ooh, I can pivot. Okay, more realistically, I'm probably supposed to play this. But I kind of like this Ash for Feljord. Wait. Wait. I just had a really weird idea. <laughs> What's stopping me from... Okay, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not fucking pivoting <laughs> to vanquish your patrol. Oh, wow. Yeah, why not? Wait, I'm the best player in the world. Look at how hard I just hit everything. I might even slam an Archangels. I might. Yeah, I feel like these these fights are gonna go so on so long. Archangels actually seems like a reasonable slam here. And then now I need a mana item. Wait, this Malazar is gonna, like, 30 seconds in the fight, he's randomly gonna one-shot somebody. Everyone's gonna go like, huh? Cho'Gath! Do you guys know that Cho'Gath gets double stacks if he eats the boss? That's completely not true. I made that up on the spot. Get pranked, idiot. Wow, top frag Malzar. All right, Bruiser Crest! Sorcerer Crest, really? Really? Underneath it, Bruiser! Wait. Am I trolling or? <laughs> I mean, that... the other ones are pretty bad. Actually, Infusion's not horrible. Hang on. What would this mean for me? LDP, Malzar, and Choga? Versus mana for my whole team all the time. I feel like it's mana. It's actually pretty... Oh, fuck. I, I feel like it, there's something interesting here, but I, I don't think it's actually that good. It also fucks with my positioning. I'll take the safe one. God, what? That, that is the most boring thing I've done today. Taking the win. Didn't throw for content. Albert, are you even streaming? No, but seriously, this does feel like the right option. It actually does help. Malzar has a mana problem. Cho'Gath has a mana problem. I wish I got Bruiser Crest. That would've been sick. But look, look how often we're eating now. Yes, feed me mana so I can eat! Wait, it's, it's actually like very noticeable. He's eating a lot. He's a hungry boy. Are you guys ready for the wicked play? I call it off tempo level up no jutsu! For Nash. Why did we off tempo level up no jutsu? Because Ash gives me Freljord. And I believe that it makes the diff in this next fight. Watch me like barely win this fight, and it's a result of off tempo level up no jutsu! Damn, this poor guy rolled to zero and did not hit. Oh, to the back line! Cho, you're you crazy. You crazy, you know that? Oh my god, he's getting so many stacks. 
Wait. Wait. <gasps> oh my god. This is all thanks to up tempo level up no jutsu! No, seriously though, what the hell? That was actually as close as it could get. Oh, a scion? If everybody. Madge. That's okay, there's one other. Madge. Let's grab half of a spark. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh my god, wait, wasn't this the whole reason why I played this build at all? Okay, wait, which one? Uh, let me scout. AP, AD, AD, AP, AD, AD, AP. It's pretty split, so why don't we do the redemption? Yeah, redemption makes the most sense here. I feel like in, in general, Redemption's kind of OP here for all my tanky bruisers. Declaw and Bramble makes Cho'Gath individually really good, but Redemption makes Cho'Gath good and the rest of my team. Okay, Malzar's safe. Oh lord, he's stacking. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Malzar does something! Dude! We are probably the first person in the entire game to ever give Melzar a chance. And look at look at what's happening. It's paying off. Wait, I could play Vanquishers here. Or I could just grief a bunch of people. Actually, only two people are playing it. Usually when you hold one Zaya, you grief like five people. I don't really feel like my positioning matters here. Just have Cho'Gath in the middle. Oh, Cho'Gath is so nice. He like stepped aside for Tarek to come in. <laughs> Why'd you do that? What a gentleman. My Cho'Gath keeps doing that. He keeps walking backwards for some reason. It's like he's like orb walking. Oh, to the back lane! You shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. Now Malzar might die. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've not thought about what I'm supposed to do next. I uh, I know I want a Scion. I want Rek'Sai over Vel'Koz and then Scion and then Silco, I believe. But there's probably some other angles, but I've never I've like barely played this build. I'm just like a psychopath. I was like, I need it, I need it first. I'm down to just force. And look at me, missed connections getting giving me all my three stars. Oh, I could have gotten more um oh no. If I weakened my board, I think I could have got one more feast deck. Oops. Uh, what do I need here? I need a cloak, specifically, and a belt. Are all so weak? Mm, not very good. What do we have here? Uh, it's probably a Sunfire, and then a... Oh, I don't really like Rabadons here, though. Fuck. I really don't like Sunfire here. Okay, um... Albert, all I have to say is, what the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck did we do a Quincy's Malzar? We've got the fast Malzar! <laughs> I did this once in a game. I like threw for content by playing the Gwinsu's, Archangels, Vel'Koz 3. I called it the Accelerating Squid, and it was horrible. And now here I am playing it in day four of Noxus Cup. I feel like it makes sense because the comp is so slow and tanky. Wait, it's working. Okay, it barely didn't work. 
Yeah, this is definitely an anti-heal diff. Uh, I need to roll a little bit here. Just get an acceptable last unit. Oh, that's an acceptable last unit. Oh, Freljord? Wait. Oh, this game is too easy. I'm going nine. Okay, I don't know why the hell I did this. Uh, it was probably, I probably should have just done Rabidons. I really didn't like how Rabidons made it so that you would, um, I really didn't like how it made it so that you would lose, uh, you like, it's just not good with Archangels, but I should have just been down for it. This Malzar is cooking, but I don't think it's correct. Accelerating Squid is not the right play here. Um, oh, I just realized. Is Setsuko close to a 3-star? Oh, he's one off of Mordekaiser 3. Ah, slight regrets about not holding that Mord. Okay, honestly, can I can I really stop him from this spot? Actually, I, I, I probably could have. If I held that, he might have died, but... Okay, my bad. If he hits that and wins, that's uh, that's uh, my bad moment. Definitely could have held that more. I was like, I was like, huh? He's got four Mordekaisers. I didn't realize he had seven and Pandora's and a Duplicator. I was not paying attention. I was too busy admiring my the speed of my uh, Malzahar. Oh, I kind of got owned. Oh, three star Demon's Flare. Okay, I definitely need to go nine. Go nine, get six bruisers. I also need a Heimer. I, I didn't hit a spark or a burn, so Heimer is like the best level nine unit. No more on Carousel. Okay. Uh, it's probably a jeweled gauntlet for Malzahar. I kind of want that Heimer just for a Heimer, but the Lost Whisper is so useless. JG Malzahar, and then at level 9 we do Heimer. I'm down. Uh-oh. Okay, pray he does not hit right here. Okay, now it's his last life, so he's definitely rolling down. Ah, shit. Okay, honestly, not my fault. I take no responsibility. Yeah, I had a Mordecai that I could have held and made it harder for him, but uh, no, no, no. You see, this is all just a play. What I'm going to simply do is I'm going to let him eliminate everyone else for me, guarantee my second place, and then I'm going to find some bullshit that lets me beat him anyway. I saw a little bit of time to feast stack it up. We should have left home years ago. Hmm. Think Albert. Okay, so level nine you play Heimer and six bruisers. And then I do to beat a Mord 3 from this spot? I have a couple of ideas.
Wait, this is gonna be so hot. This is gonna be Chogad eating Nico for like a full 10 seconds. Oh, wait. I think it's gonna time out. Oh. Crew Max, I'm sorry you have to die this way. <laughs> All of that for a drop of blood. Okay. Computer, calculate the odds of Sigil 23. Actually, we can just calculate it. Uh, uh, computer says odds are 47%, which is not bad. Oh, wait, Ace is holding one. Never mind. Odds have gone down the gutter. Okay, sack one. Uh, my Heimer's gonna give me burn and shred. So I don't need I don't need the spark or shiv. Yeah, Heimer's gonna give me both of those. Actually, I'm down for uh I'm down for spark, and then we do triple burn Heimer. That actually sounds reasonable. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like a reasonable play to me. Triple burn Heimer now. Take my rod, Ari. Actually, take my rod, Silco. Silco heals. This guy is way stronger than me. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I have HP, and hopefully Setsuko can kill him for me. Oh no, I might actually go third here. Unless Setsuko kills this guy for me. All right, let's level up right now. Just burned. Uh. Need a Scion as well. You should have left home years ago. Okay, facing Satsuka here is a bit of a low roll. I'm gonna go down to one life. Wait, hang on. Is there a chance? It kind of looks like there's a chance. It actually looks like there's a chance. Malzar! Come on, Malzar! <gasps> Come on! The stun! One more, one more, one more! Oh, it was actually really close. Wait, oh my god, my, my triple burn play is actually kind of sick. I just have to, I don't know, get slightly better fight RNG. Uh, position a little bit better. Okay, that was actually really close. I almost won that. Uh, if I get my Malzar on Mord immediately before he gets any stacks, probably Malzar and Cho'Gath immediately. I should like guess side correctly. All right, Malzar Cho gets same side. So joining near the middle, Heimer turret in the middle. Okay, this is good. Setsuko is gonna kill the other guy for me. This should be a guaranteed top two. Although I lost the ASL last time. Hopefully my level nine board is better now. Nice. Okay, what's the best item I can get here? I think I know what the best item is here. It's not a damage item. Oh, it actually exists. I'm pretty sure it's a Redemption Sejuani to give Cho'Gath even more healing. My Cho'Gath is actually able to hold against Mord. I sound rude because I've got a world to save. Oh, 
Okay. Please be right here. If Mord's right here, I can actually win. Oh, he just stood still? Fucking Giga Chad. I thought he'd move last second. Oh no, this sucks. Mord, Mord's gonna get so many stacks. Okay, I can kill all but one at least. Could a Cassante ever make the difference here? Oh my god. I just missed out on Heimer too. Just missed out on Heimer. Uh, I have a really interesting idea that I don't think is going to work, but I'd like to try. Uh, Infusion. So I, I I don't think it's gonna work. But if there was something that could do, that did work, it'd be Cassante with Infusion just slowly gains up mana until the last second, and then he kicks Mordekaiser twice in overtime. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like maybe it works. Like here, Cassante's now gonna gain mana with Infusion, and then why aren't you casting? Hey, cast. Okay, and then you do it one more time? Nope. <laughs> nice try. All right, hello guys. I should I, I could have held the one Mordecai, which would have lowered his odds by a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna say that was a fine game. I thought Cassante would cast upon reaching full mana. I did not realize he would just stand there. Although it probably didn't matter. I don't think Mecha Santo was getting two casts off unless I did like some crazy cheese. All right. All right, all I gotta do is get second place from now on. Box, box for future reference, Radiant Declaw is significantly better. Oh, really? I did not know that. Noted for if I ever play again, but I already told you guys this is my last day of TFT, so I highly doubt we uh, end up playing Chobitem again. Why is it your last day? I, I just don't really enjoy the game right now. I'll, I'll come back in set 10 if it's good, but I just like don't like the current state of the game. It can be fixed. So I'll, I'll, I'll come back and see if it's fixed. And then if it is, we'll continue playing. I think the current meta is in a really bad state right now where you have to lock onto a build on 2-1 and then you have to force and pray that you hit to have like a chance of top fouring. There's like a very small amount of flex play still in the game. And those games are really fun. Like birthday present, you just like adapt to what you're given. But unfortunately, even with birthday present, most of the time you just like say like, okay, it's looking like a this game. I sure hope my birthday present lines up with that. It's not really pivot into what you hit. It's just pray that you hit the right thing. Do you think the patch could fix it? Uh, it'd be hard. 
It could. It could, but like, it's already so close to the end of the set. I'm just gonna wait till set 10. I already like don't play the last patch of the set because I don't think anyone cares about ranking at that point. The only people still playing are people who made it to Worlds. So like, this is the second to last patch. So like, once the last patch happens, I'm gonna go do something else. That, that's what I already do anyway, right? I already like take a short break after, I usually do a grind on the second to last patch, hit whatever LP I can hit and then be satisfied. This time we'll just take the break a little bit earlier because I'm exhausted. I've had a lot of frustrations playing solo queue lately if you've been watching my streams. So we're gonna take like a one month break. Box box, I don't think it's gonna be fixed. Mort Dog talked about it this morning. He disagrees that the game isn't flexible. Oh, he thinks the game is flexible. Oh, he must have not played in high yellow lobbies then. 90% of the time, you know me, like on 2-1, you know what everyone's playing. You see what augment they take? This guy's forcing this build. This guy's forcing that build. This guy's forcing this build. These two are conflicting. They're going to go 7th and 8th. 90% of games, you've already narrowed it down to, uh, to maybe at most two options. Very few people just like keep it flexible. I think if Mortdog plays in some challenger lobbies, he will understand what I mean by like, if you don't force something OP, you die. And that is like my main frustration. This game was like, oh, I need to, I need like, I need to do well. Uh, okay, I have endurance training. There is an endurance training Cho'Gath line. And then I just forced it. I, I just like happened to high roll it. I, I made it to day four of Noxus Cup, which is actually pretty hard to do. A lot of pro players did not make it to day four of Noxus Cup. I think that I, I wouldn't say I deserved it or didn't deserve it. I would say that it mostly came down to like the luck of my roll downs. I, in general, hit on my roll downs, therefore I made it all forward. Yes, a worse player could have hit on the roll downs and failed that part. So like I, I had the skill to pilot my builds, but I think at the highest level, a lot of people have the skill to pilot their builds. The main difference maker is just like, did you hit your Nyla too? Did you hit your Mord too? You calculated out that your best move is to roll here. Okay, but did you hit? I've had games, there were games on stream that I played where I was like, I have four pairs, I'm on a four win streak, I should roll like twice here and try to hit something. And sometimes I do hit, and then it's just like, oh fuck yeah, I'm good. And then sometimes you don't hit, and it's like, okay, you lost. You're, you're now way too far behind pace. But like, I promise you the right answer was to roll. Anyway, enough complaining from me. I, the, the TLDR, what I want to say is like, I don't think you can play very flexibly this game, or this set. I really enjoyed set 6, which is like a great example of flex play. Uh, set 7 was slightly flexible, set 8 was not very flexible, it was a very lock on to your hero augment or just play a bad build. Uh, set 9 was okay, it was probably better than okay, it was above average. And then I think 9.5, the flexibility really went down. You slam a death play, it's like, wait, there's only one build you can play and that's Vanquishers. Uh, that one's due to game balance. Like if, if gunners were good, then you could still play gunners. I, uh, yeah, like there's just not enough viable carries right now. If if a Zir were good, if a Philios were good, and if a couple other carries were good, then like I think the game could be flexible again. That's my TLDR of it. So that's why after today, I I'm gonna take a one month break until set ten, and then we'll happily come back in set ten. I trust that'll be really good. But yeah, the amount of times I've had like, okay, if the game were balanced, I could play Azir here and it'd be a great top four pivot. And that's like, wait, but the game's not balanced. Azir sucks. It's just like, wrong patch, buddy. Like, you should have played this build last patch when Azir was good. All right, I'm going to close my chat. I'll see you guys after the game.
Scuttle Puddle. Cho again? Wait, Cho on Scuttle Puddle is actually like a really OP start. If I happen to get a belt cloaker chain, I'm down. Wait, is it wood? Stone. Uh could be a graves angle. I got no time. Probably not a choke angle from this spot. Infinity Edge. Okay, uh, Vanquisher. Vanquisher or Rogues from this spot. Uh, I was probably supposed to make 10 there. I was definitely supposed to make 10 there. Okay, we're definitely not playing Cho'Gath from this spot. I have but one life to give for yeah, I was supposed to make 10, that's my bad. Minus one gold. I was like, is it worth holding these options? It wasn't. Definitely can't be Nico from this spot. Keep your enemies close and me closer. Uh, let me think about this. It's definitely not Zonheart. I have a BT Titans. It's probably actually a Samira angle. Uh, sorry, Challengers into Fiora angle. Oh, Pandora's item. Silver is actually pretty good here. It's probably actually Pandora's here. I really want a win streak here. I could slam the last whisper. I think I'm down. I'm pretty sure we're playing uh, challengers here. It's in my opinion, the right combination of, like, not really contested. I also have Vanquishers. Although... Ah, oh, fuck. Let's start the, show. the problem with Vanquishers is that I've already slammed the BT Titans. I just play it for now. I could also re-roll the items. It's a little gimmicky. Let's go ahead and scout. Oh, if I made that one gold earlier, I could have made 10 here. It actually kind of mattered. Okay, what are you playing? Pandora's into Nico? Uh, yeah, it looks like Pandora's into Nico. This guy's playing Ionia. Not sure. Kale. Kale? Ionia. Wait. Did I scout incorrectly? Were there two Ionia players there? I'm not really thinking about playing Ionia, but I do have it set up right now. You could reroll two items and pray. Juggernaut Vanquisher. I have but one life Let me to scout this again. I, must make it count. Uh, I feel like this guy's playing Nico. I feel like a lot of people are contesting each other this game. That's really good for me. It doesn't look like a single person's thinking about challengers. Okay, I'm down to not think about vanquishers. Yeah, I'm down to not think about vanquishers. Let's just go all in on the challenger angle. It'll be very uncontested. I already have my items set up. Last Whisper Quinn, BT Fiora, Titans Fiora, and now we can start working on the Kai'Sa items. Is challengers good? 
Uh, they're below average. But I can make it work. Or I will try to make it work, right? I'll, I'll die trying, is what I mean to say. And actually, I talked about the game not being flexible, but this is actually a pretty flexible spot. Because I can reroll anything. If I hit an early mord, I can try to make it work. It'll, it'll be hard, but I could maybe make it work. The best I'm going to get here would probably be a three gold. It's basically just like set up a Kaisa item, but I can just reroll, reroll, reroll. Probably taking a cloak here. Okay, let me visualize what I need for this. So I need sword tier for Shojin, rod glove for JG, and then after that, my favorite item is gunblade. So sword rod again. I want to hold this Nautilus pair, but I'm not sure if it's better than Cassio pair. Cassio 2 is pretty good here. Okay. I think I just keep this Graves for a while. If I didn't fail to make one gold earlier, I'd have 23 gold right now. I could hold this Nautilus. It's like I don't think about it. The Fury is good. Let's start the show. Okay, question: Is the Fury better than uh, better than Samira? I feel like Samira was actually kind of good as a DPS unit. Oh, I guess I guess she wasn't. This looks a little scary. Can we break through this set's armor? Oh, I think I lose. No. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about it. I think I'm just weaker. That sucks. That's like a, a Jin 2 would make the diff there. Or this Warwick, actually. Yeah, that Warwick would have been perfect. Then I just had this board and then I, I went out. Um, Let me think about what items I want here. Uh, sword tier, rod glove. One life to give for Iona. I must make it count. Sword tier rod glove. I win. Uh I got no time for games. Was I always on one Samira? All right, what is everyone else playing? Oh damn, level six fifty gold. These boards are looking a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Fuck, I'm so sad. If I hit that work one round earlier. Or just like a two-star Jin or two-star Samira. I could have a five streak. Although it is Scuttle Puddle, so streak doesn't matter too much. Also, I was definitely gonna lose my streak right here, so it's not the end of the world. I 
I think I was supposed to hold that Quinn in my shop from earlier. That's okay. I'll probably get a Quinn later. Quinn is my support unit that'll hold the Last Whisper and probably a Shiv later. Okay. I'm begging you. Give me something that is good. Something that is good for, uh... Good for Fjord Kaisa. Not Magic Wand. Could be Unified. I think the best one would be... Uh, okay, not Sleight of Hand. The best one would be uh, LDP. I feel like Harmacist is Ite. Is it better than Unified, though? I'm not sure. I'm gonna do it just because it lets me reroll one more time. Okay. Keep your enemies close. Okay. I think what I'm doing here is we are just simply going to go seven and roll for Fiora one. Like, my board definitely does not look good compared to other people's boards, but the one upside is that it's uncontested. Also, I, I was thinking about like, what if you open Fort Mordekaiser? Uh, I've done that before in my solo queue games, but I don't think it's good here. I think it's like too late. I needed to have like set up like three bows by now. This game does not look good. I'll tell you guys right now, like, I scouted and people are hitting. The boards that I'm looking at are quite scary. Like this one right here, this guy is like on track to hit Soraka 3, Nico 3 with two duplicators. This guy is terrifying. This is very exciting. So I believe what I do now is I go seven next round, I roll until stable and then I stop. But my board's definitely not stable. My items are on one stars. My god, this guy has a Mordekaiser and, a, and two duplicators. Alright, I'm down for earlier Carousel Pryo. Uh, I would love to grab any Fiora, any Kaisa. Wait, hit the Graves. Okay, nice. Now we can lose. Give me that second pick. Yeah, that's good. Okay, any Fiora, any Kaisa. Or Jarvan. But preferably a sword. Any Fiora, any Kaisa. Oh, Nyla. Oh, I'm definitely grabbing a sword. All right, let's go seven. And then I need to roll for one Fiora, one Kaisa, Jarvan, Quinn. And a replacement Warwick. Maybe if I'm really lucky, I get an Atrox. Let me sell this garbage. Probably wasn't supposed to sell that. Well, that sucks. I leveled up to seven, I rolled, I didn't hit, and I'm facing a guy who leveled to seven, rolled, and did hit. I, I'm probably going eighth. Oh, hang on, hang on. This smells like hope. Let me roll twice and see if I can hit one Fiora. 
Violent Bioware. I mean, we all know what we're doing now, right? We're just... We're gonna roll down for one Warwick, two Nefiris, uh, and one Fiora. And then I'm gonna ask myself if it's stable, and I'm probably gonna say no. And then I'm gonna keep rolling. Uh, this is not looking good for me. I know this build sucks. There's a reason why nobody plays Challengers this patch. But I was hoping that it was so uncontested that I could at least hit my units. And I mean, I hit the Kai'Sa. Yay! Two patches ago, this would have been a first place board. All right, Albert, you need to hold a rod, rod, sword. I think that's the best in slot here. I mean, the, the last Kai'Sa item is flexible. Could be a GS, honestly. Uh, but I like Gunblade because you keep your Fiora alive. But yeah, hold rod, rod, sword. And then maybe a Shiv on uh, Quinn. Oh wow, what the hell? I just got bailed out. Okay, I'm actually down for a um, do this, and then do that. I know I have harm assist, but I think it's fine. I'm down to sack one. Let's sack one, go eight, and then just like, you know, pray for a miracle basically. Because if I, if I roll down here, I'm playing for a sixth. I'm down to really first or eighth it, because not only am I very tilted, also, like, in this style of tournament, this is just what you have to do. Dude, someone just hit two Star Fiora. Am I actually contested? He rolled down! I can't believe I'm contested! I mean, at least I have my Kai'Sa. But man, I can't believe I'm contested. Someone actually contested challengers? Alright, come on, Albert. Level it up! Hit this VR1, and if you're really lucky, an Aatrox. LDP is best in slot. LDP here is actually a first. Uh, Challenger Crest might be all right. Okay, social distancing, not bad. LDP. It's always social distancing. Oh, is ever Leech for like even more harmless? No, I think it's social distancing. We need stats. All right, well, I only have a little bit of gold, but maybe a miracle can happen. I need one Fiora. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Think about what could bail you out here. Obviously, hit a Fiora. Obviously, hit an Aatrox. But what about on the Carousel? What about a Spat? Spat or Aatrox on Carousel? I mean, who knows? Maybe this two-star Kai'Sa actually clutches it out for a little bit. But yes, all of my items aren't like a dead unit right now, which is really sad. Oh, she dodged the Nico ult! Wait, do it one more time. Not bad, not bad. I'm begging you. Oh, wait. About time I got my hands to this. Okay, I'm just gonna throw it at you for now. Oh, I was supposed to... Okay, my bad. I was supposed to throw it at Rally, I just realized. Alright, I think Quinn should have a Shiv here. Shiv, last was spare, then she's like the ultimate support unit. 
It's a shame I have a Lost Whisper, but I don't have a Fiora. Come on, Albert. If you want a chance of survival, you need to hit an Aatrox on Carousel or a Spat. Spat actually would be really good here. It would actually be really good here because I still held, I still have my Aurelia. Spat or Aatrox or Fiora. Spat or Aatrox or Fiora. Spat or Aatrox or Fiora. No, he's playing the same build as me. He's going to take it. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm contested. <laughs> oh my God. He also hit. Oh, he's got like perfect itemization too. This is so sad. I only played this build because I said it's so uncontested I can probably hit. And here look at me now. Donkey rolling with zero Furious. <laughs> okay, we definitely cannot afford this timer. Yeah, this timer is not happening. I have to just keep rolling. Rolling for one Fiora. It's a shame that I had to sell my Fiora, my Heimer right there, because now that I hit, I want to I want to play this Heimer. <laughs> now that I hit, but. Oh my god, he's holding four Fioras. He's choking me out. Man, I really had two Heimers, which would have been played if I had a Fiora. And then right as soon as I saw the Heimer, I hit the Fiora. Oh, that's fine. Just eliminate me from the tournament. Let's go roll for any replacement to the Cyrelia. I don't even have enough fury. All right, well, who knows? Maybe I high roll really hard. I I think it's already fucked. He hit everything and he has LDP and then he got Aatrox on Carousel. If I got the Aatrox on Carousel, I might have been able to fight for it. I actually like need a straight up miracle now. I need to hit two Fioras while contested and an Aatrox. It's like the only way out. Oh. Okay, half of the miracle has been obtained. Okay? All I need now is two Fioras and like a random filler unit. Silco might be alright, but he's not the best. I could maybe play two-star Aatrox. Okay, uh, think about items. Items. Uh, it's like Vow Jarvan, that's basically it. You can also be blue buff Silco, so like tier tier's a must. Okay, War Mogs. Fuck it. Come on, Albert. You can do it. I don't think we can do Heimer here. Actually, maybe I can. Burn. Repair might be okay. I just fucked up my social distancing really hard. It's okay, it didn't really matter for those units. I'm probably just dead here anyway. No Fiora, no Miracle. 
Yeah, I'm dead. Oh? Alright, well. Oh my god, this guy also has a door too. Wait, I didn't get last! Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I need one burn. One burn. Oh, wait. Wait, I'm actually gonna bench. Okay, one roll, one Fiora. No. Fuck. But the positioning is so dizzy. I'm probably dead here. The odds of hitting Fiora is so low, but maybe I'll also just like not not play the Heimer at all and just try my best. Oh my god, Fiora died middle. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Dang. What are the odds that I play Fiora because she's so uncontested? And then this guy pivots into me. Where is it? This guy pivots into me. Uh, this guy hits a Fjord 2. You have two. now reached 100 D faces today. This guy hits a Fjord 2 just like on his roll down for Kale, which is crazy. And then this guy has Fjord 2 as well. Like, that is all 12 Fjords out of the pool. What did I do wrong? I specifically went out of my way to play this build because it was so uncontested. And then three different players, two started my carry anyway, and then I lost. In a lobby where, like, Fiora 2 is at least a fourth. And the moment I decided on the build, like, I, I was locked in. There was no way I could pivot out, even with Pandora's items. To pivot out would mean to, like, play dead items for three rounds while I reroll them to correct items. Like, I'm pretty sure the answer is, like, well, you shouldn't have fucking played Fiora. You should have just... If you're going to play Contested, you should just play Vanquishers and just Contested the whole world. Then, like, at least the one star, uh, Zaya can get you a sixth. Like, I don't know what else to do. I hit my Kai'Sa 2 really fast. It's completely out of my control that three other players hit Fjord 2. I didn't see one for about 70 gold. The only thing I could have done was be a Psychopath and roll it down to zero at seven. And then pray for an Aatrox on Carousel, which is exactly what DP did. And, like, I kind of don't blame him. It worked out. He's going to get top four now. But, like, if I had done what I did, and then I actually hit my unit, I would have gotten top four as well. Like, I'm pretty sure that has higher odds of working out as well. This guy wasn't even trying to play Fjord. He's, he's playing Quinn reroll, and then he just, like, picked up all the Fjords on the way. Oh, my God. It's games like this that are exactly why I need to take a break from this game for a month. I definitely felt like I got fucked because other people happened to choose the same build, the same unit as me, and they all hit and I didn't. I feel like that's how all my losses are, and all my wins are just like, I wasn't contested. I think even with perfect play, this game is still a 7th, maybe a 6th. Alright, I can open my chat now. Box, box, you had the Zaya so early you could have pivoted. No, you cannot. If you pivot, that would mean you have to leave three items on your bench. And then you'd contest a different guy. I would never pivot off of one Zaya if my items don't work out for it. Box, box, you have Pandora's items. 
I, are you dumb? Did you not hear me explain why, even with Pandora's items, you cannot pivot to the Zaya? I'll explain it one more time for the really, really, really thick skilled out there. If you want to pivot to the Zaya, and trust me, I thought about it. It wasn't early Zaya. I would keep the Last Whisper. I would reroll the BT and the Titans. And until they turn into acceptable items, I would be taking 20 damage every round. Not only that, but I'd still be contesting into two other players. Do I want to take this Zaya, play dead items for three rounds, and then contest two players? Or do I want to play my uncontested Fiora Kaisa? Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, well, it clearly wasn't contested. And I'll say, there's no way to know that. DP pivoted into me, I'm guessing, off of his augments. And then he hit on his roll down. There was a Demacia reroller that did not look like he was intending on playing Fiora, but then on the way to his Quinn, he hit the Fiora. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. If I pivoted into the Zaya and then I got the other two Zaya players hit Zaya, I would have been like, well, fuck me in the ass. There was no playable. I shouldn't have done that. Like, I was fucked no matter what. The only thing I could have done was be a psycho and roll at seven and just pray that I hit. And the fact that DP is getting fourth place doing that is making me really angry. That's not how TF2 is meant to be played. Box, box, I thought you do roll at seven. I did roll at seven. And then I hit a two-star Kaisa. I said it would be incredibly incorrect to keep rolling here. This board gets me to level eight, I should go eight. The board spikes really hard on hitting one-star legendaries, so I went eight off of my Fiora, off of my Kaisa too, saying, hopefully I'll hit the Fiora later. And then I blink and 11 copies of Fiora are out of the pool. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Like, if you delay your Aatrox and Heimer by that long, like you're throwing the game. You just like have to hope that the units are still there. Like, if you if you look at this game and see like a play, we are looking at different games. I played like a thousand games of TFT this set. I peaked at eleven hundred and fifty LP, top fifteen in NA, and I don't think there was an angle here. I think my only two plays here were be a psycho, be a psycho, roll at seven forever, hoping to hit my units, expecting them to get contested, which I would not expect them to be contested because Fiora's one of the, wor the wor less good four cost carries. That's the whole reason why I picked the build. Uh, and the other play was to do what I did and hope you hit at eight, which is the much more realistic play. That is why we did it. Actually, no, there was one more angle. I could have, at level 1, said me Graves, and then lock it in, no pivot. That was actually possible too, because I had a 2-star Graves. I hate that angle, uh, but I could have done it. That build is almost always contested, so I always down to play my lesser contested challengers. For the rest of this tournament, I'm going to do first eighth strats because that's really the only play now. We've gone eighth, second, and seventh. So all we can really do is just do monkey strats like the Cho'Gath play that might result in first. We are going to hard lock onto a strat and then pray that I hit. It's, it's the only real way to get first here. Pray for good augment RNG and take psychopathic risks that have low odds of working out, but when they work out, they could lead to something. We are a man with nothing to lose.
What placements do you need to advance? Well, only only the top four out of 32 advance. So it's literally like get first, 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 first from this spot. From the beginning of the tournament, you have to get better than third average to even make it to the top four. Like the odds are already stacked against you. I'm personally not a fan. Like, I think TFT when you have to play for like a top two result is very different from TFT when you have to play for a top four result. When you have to play for a top two, results like, or actions like rolling at seven are horrible and actions like full greeting, Piltover, loose streak, consistency, uh, final reserves become way better. Like, the the degenerate plays. Like, the ones that I like to do when I troll for content are actually, like, the optimal plays in lobbies like this. Like, what I did with that Cho'Gath was actually, like, optimal. It was like, well, if you don't go first, you're already out. So you might as well just roll it down like a Psycho for Cho'Gath 3. And I happened to hit that game, so I won. Oh, well, second. I, I made a mistake of not griefing the Mordekaiser, and then I got second as a result. I understand that, like, it's hard to have 160 players come into a tournament and then get a winner if you only, like, if everybody is rewarded for playing top fours. I don't know what the answer is, but I am just saying that I am not a fan of the way you have to play for a first. Well, normally you'd have to play for a second, but I have to play for a first because I already got eighth place. What are your plans for the next month, content-wise? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna take it easy. I've been I've been looking forward to taking a break for a while now. If you've been watching my streams, you will see that while I have been climbing, I have not been enjoying it. I'm excited to go do something else. I think we have to wait like five minutes before the next game starts.
I'm very surprised that Dog said he thinks this set is flexible. I've had conversations with the man in person before. He's a very nice guy. We get along well. I would love to hear, like, his reasoning for it, or just his opinions on the current state of the game. I've talked to other, other pros, and a lot of them feel the same way I do. Of, like, your best play almost every game is to lock in and just roll the dice. Everybody, everybody knows that everybody else can pilot the lines, so then it's just like, who hits? I think TFT is at its best when you can pivot between lines cleanly and like without griefing yourself. Where like in some of the games, it's skill to like say, no, I'm sticking to my line. And then in some games, it's like, it's skill to say, oh, this is actually like a very good pivot opportunity. I think in the current state of TFT, pivots are like less than 5%. Like, if you see a pivot opportunity, less than 5% of the time, it's correct. It had to be, like, three mords. It had to be, like, you held a random double mord shop, and then there was a bow on a mord on the carousel for you to, like, pivot. I believe that the reason for this is because there's too many really strong combinations, but, like, in a bad way, to the point where if you're not playing one of the really strong combinations, you're losing. If you play Demacia Kale reroll and you don't have Petrocyte Shackles and another guy does, he will just always beat you. Right? Like, barring something crazy, like you three star everything for free without rolling, barring something really crazy, you will just like lose to the guy who forced harder and hit the augment specific. There is no like, oh, take salvage bin and then keep it flexible. At least, not really, unless you're okay with the fourth being your highest possible result. Your best play is almost always just like take your trait specific augment and then go ham on it. Like play Vanquishers, get Vanquisher Crest, get Vanquisher Vitality or Stolen Vitality, and then just like pray that you hit. If you ever take something like like Rich Get Richer, keep it flexible, you're, you're already like very far behind. St. Vicious took no specific augments though. Yeah, and he high rolled. I've high rolled before. I've I've gotten first place without taking trait specific augments. They're just very uncommon. TFT is a game of maximizing your odds. You can still win with three completely dead augments if you high roll an RE3. What I'm saying is that in current high level TFT, your best play is unfortunately to almost always just take the trait specific augment for whatever trait you're currently playing and then just like hope that you hit. And that is why I think the game is very inflexible right now. Well, also, the balance is just bad. Um, I would love, like, oh, you take LDP, and you're playing uh, Samira Warwick LDP. Then it's like, wait, I hit an early Aphelios and Jace shop? Okay, I'm down the pivot. But unfortunately, gunners aren't viable. So you, you can't actually do the pivot, even if your items are good. Or if you do, you're playing from behind again because the build sucks. I, I feel like Azir should be, like, a really great unit. Like... Azir should be like a very slightly below average carry in my opinion because he's so flexible. You can put Azir with Nasus, you can put Azir with Silco, with MF. He can kind of be inserted into every single build and that's what I love about him. He's like a backline AP carry that is so flexible. Whereas if you want to play like RE carry, you kind of have to like have the Sorks or the Ionias to like make it work. Azir should be like this really awesome flex piece, but he's so bad that that option is gone. If Azir in general were just like a little bit better, the meta is actually like kind of good. If Azir was like a viable fallback plan for if you didn't hit your Mord, the game, like so many options actually open up. It's crazy. So like part of my problem lays in the uh, trait specific augments being like super important. Uh, and the other part of it is just like, half of the carries on any given patch are not viable and i really dislike that like i never expect the tft dev team to balance it perfectly that's impossible right like if you like get the numbers even slightly off a unit will be unplayably bad or too, way too good so like it's hard to get it right but i think half of the carries being unplayable is pretty bad like i feel like my early shops are so easy to solve out because half of them are unplayable Right? Like, you will never hold a Karma. 
There was actually one game that I had where I got a Karma 3 on stage 3. And it was literally like, I'm playing Ionia Vanquishers, and then I got a triple Karma shop, and then I, I was like, oh, I need to roll down for a set 2. And then it hit 6 Karmas. And then I was telling myself, I was like, surely, like, this should be a win out, right? Like, I just naturaled one of the best units. So then I played 6 Ionia, Invoker, and then it was garbage. Like, Karma is just, unfortunately, just not a playable unit. Oh, is Mortdog here? Let me see what he said. Oh, he was responding to somebody. Dang, I was hoping he was responding to me. But yes, I I didn't see what the chat said, but I want to make it very clear. I like the TFT team. I've had conversations with Mortdog myself in person. They're very nice, and they're very smart. So like... I assume that there's like some other issue that's causing the game to be like this. I'm guessing it's some sort of like complicated logistics that us on the outside don't get to know about. But like, in general, it leads to like this result where I, I feel an immense amount of frustration when playing the game. I still love the base game overall, but I, I definitely need to take a break from my own mental until set 10. I yearn... I mean, like, this might be, like, rose-tinted lenses, but I yearn for a set like set 6. I say this a lot, but I truly believe that in set 6, you could roll down level 8, 50 gold, and just so many options were there. It, it was just, like, whatever you could creatively come up with, you just hold frontline pieces, you hold backline pieces, and th there was usually a way to link them together. You would two-star something, and you'd find a way to make it work with flexible items. And I think the reason why it worked was because... I could be wrong... I think the reason why it worked was because um, items didn't scale so hard off of abilities. And what I mean by that is, like, you could play your Hurricane GS Guardian Angel Yone, and then you could also play Hurricane Guardian Angel GS Urgot. You could even play those items on Jin. They're all four-cost carries. You could even play it on Jace. Like, Jace was a five-cost legendary who was kind of like Gangplank now. You could kind of grab generic items, and they would kind of work on everybody. Giant Slayer, Giant Slayer, GA was actually like a viable uh, combo. But unfortunately now it's like very specific. If you don't have like the RFC, RFC, just give up on Mordekaiser. If you don't have like good attack speed and attack damage and crit items, just give up on Zaya. I think, like, once you've slammed your items, there's, like, very few carry options that are still viable. And it's like, well, but then what about stuff like Salvage Bin? But, like, unfortunately, Salvage Bin is almost always weaker than the trait-specific augment. If I'm playing Zaya and I'm offered Vanquisher's Vitality or Stolen Vitality, I will never take Salvage Bin to be open to a pivot compared to just, like, taking Stolen Vitality and then just being stronger. It feels like you are rewarded for all inning right now. And so my best play every game is to just all-in every game. And then just, like, pray that my all-in was the correct all-in. Let my games in this Noxus Cup be an example. Uh, all my top fours are games where I said, fuck it, I'm forcing this no matter what. And then, like, I just happened to hit. The only reason I'm here on day four is because I hit harder than other people. I don't really feel like I played better. Like, I don't think I'm very good at the game. I think I'm decent at the game. I think there are a lot of players that put a lot more effort into studying the game and being understanding of like what makes things good. Me, I just like kind of force stuff. Sometimes I throw for content. And the fact that we're here is just like, I just like forced really OP things and I just like happened to be the one who hit. And speaking of forcing things and being the one who hits, I think this game, since I, since I need a first place to like even get back into the, the middle of the pack, I am probably going to lock onto the first thing and then force it really hard. And it's definitely not going to be challengers, because I think challengers is a top four comp. It's going to be something like Mordekaiser or Kale or uh, Vanquishers. Box, box, what do the very best players like Setsuko do differently to consistently perform so well? 
Great question. Uh, I'll tell you the answer. Uh, from what I understand, the reason why Dish Soap and Setsuko are so dominant over everyone else is because, first, they know more lines than anyone else. Uh, me, I know like six. As in like, if I have a good opener for one of the six builds, I can play it. I would guess that Setsuko knows over 20. In terms of like, oh, uh, like the moment he sees his components come out, he's probably already imagining like, okay, uh, this is a viable line. This is a viable line. This is a viable line. Now I need to look for this, this, and this unit. Me, I'll probably be like, oh, it's either Ionia or Kale here. Setsuko might be like, oh, it's either Ionia or Kale. Or if I get this, it could be this. Or if I get this, it could be that. Uh, and then uh, he just like has the, the trait web memorized better or like the lines. Uh, and then also, I think Setsuko is very good at the micro positioning to save small amounts of HP. In the end, TFT is a game where if you can average like a 4 instead of a 4.5, you are massively like, that's a lot of LP over the course of 100 games. I think Setsuko just does it better than everyone else right now. And I believe that it whether you top 4 or bottom 4 is still almost always coming down to if you hit your 2 star or not. I have seen Dish Soap do something crazy along the lines of like, oh fuck, this is really not working out. What if I sold my whole board and then tried to build this out of thin air? I've seen stuff like that to like scrape a fifth, and I think it's very impressive. Okay, I have to play for our first, so I'm down for... Down for something really gambly like Shifting Sands. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys after the game. I have to close my chat now. The void will drown you. Please give me a Nautilus. Oh, that's actually not bad. Uh, would Ixtal? Nico is the possible play? God damn it. Oh, I don't think he's gonna get a stack from this spot. That's okay, I don't think we're playing Cho'Gath. Actually, keeping two out of three Piltover might have been the angle. If I'm playing for our first, Piltover might actually be good. I instinctively sold for 10 because I don't play much Piltover, but it was probably worth it to try, just like that Cho'Gath game earlier. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I should probably go for... I have a sword here. I should probably go for... Vanquishers and just try to be the one who hits. Wait. Wait, I'm gonna... I got pilt over again. Yeah, it actually came back. I got Tiny Titans. Wow, Mort Dog's like, hey man, I, I noticed you sold your Piltovers. Uh, take it back. What the heck? Oh, I got an Ionia spat? No, I mean, this, this has to be way better, right? Like... In terms of playing for our first, this has to be the nuts. Tiny Titans, Piltover 2-1, and I made Econ. This has to be it. Uh, people look a little weak. I have to use the bathroom really quick, but this should be crazy.
Okay, I don't think I have to grief. I feel like super careful though, because I wouldn't be surprised if somebody did attempt to grief. I got exactly what I asked for. I asked for a first or eighth angle, and then I regretted selling the piltovers, and they actually came back. Robotic arm. I've actually played some Jinx reroll here. Um, I need to make sure I lose though. I kind of want to upgrade this Vi. I could just like upgrade the Vi and then not play her. I mean, these people seem like kind of strong. Okay, let me think about this. So, what can I do here to maximize my odds of winning? So, first of all, we're probably gonna play Jinx Reroll. She's not very strong, but like, surely from this spot, it's actually good, right? Like, I got Robotic Arm, I'm Uncontested Gunners, Tiny Titans Piltover, and I made Econ early game. Like, I even like did the wrong play and I sold my Piltover saying, oh, I'd rather have Econ. And then they came back. This is like as high roll as it gets. Uh, the only downside is I haven't played Piltover in like 50 games. So I actually have like no idea what I'm doing here. Uh, I know that I need a bow. Oh shit. Oh, I'm last pick, right. Tiny Titans. Uh, let me pull up my notes. What do the notes say? Wait, um. Down for the one gold bow. I don't think anyone's going to want it. Otherwise, I think I have to take the rod. Okay. Uh, gunner reroll. You need early piltover, AD items, good zon mod, spe specifically robotic arm. Okay, check. Uh, look for gunner plus one, dueling gunners, shimmering inventors, tiniest titan, metabolic, tiny titans, gifts, fallen, LDP, last den, library card. Last Whisper, Hurricane, GSIE. Okay, and then I need to weaken my board a little bit. Actually, I feel like, okay, this board might be too strong. Probably do this. I do have Tiny Titans, so I'm down to play on the safer side. This might have been too safe, though. But, like, the, the, the main way for me to lose this game is to get my streak griefed. So I need to, like, not allow that to happen. So let me go ahead and forecast that I'm going to play my strongest board. This is my strongest board. And at the last second, I will swap out Kale into Jinx. And then Ori over Vi. I don't think anyone's gonna grief me, but I, I've seen some crazy shit happen in tournaments. So let's just make sure by taking a full loss here. Oh my god. Did I did I lose? I hope I lost. I hope I lost! Thank god I did this! Oh my god. Yeah, I've seen some crazy shit. <laughs> Thank god I did this. Good loss, too. Okay, uh, what did the notes say? Uh, rolling lo roll at six for Jinx three or Jace three, depending on which one you have more of. I I think I'm gonna roll at six. Oh, the notes don't say anything about what to do with a spatula. I'm guessing it's just Jug Spat. Uh.
Not bad items. Actually, really good items. Okay. Let's look at the notes. Oh god. Another spat? Oh, a fawn. Uh... I think I'm fine with that. Especially because I'm going to roll at 6 for a while. Okay, GS, Hurricane. Where's the Last Whisper? Wait. Do these notes really not say anything about Last Whisper? Oh, it does. I'm gonna slam a Last Whisper on Jace, not Jinx. And then we'll, we'll try to give Jinx three full AD items and Jace will be the support. I feel like I'm down for that. Man, I have no idea what I'm doing with this build. There's a very good chance I throw this game because I haven't played it in so long. I have no experience on Piltover. Oh my god, dueling gunners. Mortdog is trying his hardest to make sure I don't throw. Is that ever LDP? I don't think so. Dueling gunners seems very superior here. Piltover Heart was kind of interesting, but only if I hit a Heimer, which was probably not happening. People are getting really strong. Um, oh, fuck. This guy is going to go for Jinx 3. Actually, hopefully he stays at only Jinx 2. I mean, I could go for Jace 3 instead. It's, it's viable. Uh, I have money to level. And just try to save a little bit more HP. I'm not sure if it's the right play, though. It might just be go 7 if Jinx is contested. Yeah, it might be a go seven. Cause at seven I could um hit Jace three, Aphelios two, Sedge two. Whereas at six I'm rolling for a contested uh contested jinx. Don't think any of these are useful. Uh since I don't know the line very well, I should just keep it very simple and only play like things that I'm sure are in the line. I shouldn't try to be flexible. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's going for Jinx 3. Okay, I mean, I think I'm fine with just, uh, being flexible here and going for the Jace 3. The robotic arm, it's, it's gonna be sad to see it go, but Jace 3 is way more likely to happen here. Next round, I'm probably gonna go 7 and roll a little bit. Uh, to ideally still lose, but get a couple, save a couple HP. And then ideally, I, on 4-1, maybe even 4-2 because of Time Titans, 4-2 I spike. And I believe I want a GS here. Or it might be IE, actually. Uh, I don't know which one's stronger, but I think it's IE, because it... You have, you have dueling gunners, which gives you so much AD, and then IE multiplies that. I feel like... I feel like it's IE. Oh wait, is this an Aphelios? I feel like I'm taking the Aphelios over the IE. I don't think I'm slamming a Deathblade, though. I think I'm just playing the Aphelios for four gunners. And then after the creep round, I'll start slamming items. All right, this is extremely first or eighth, but like, I, I'm a man with nothing to lose. Let's do it. I might fuck it up and I'll be really sad, but this is fine. I'm confident that this is the right path. Okay. Let's make sure we don't get too strong. This already is looking close to too strong. Wait, let me look at my matchups. No, I'll lose this guy. I'm pretty sure I'll lose to all my matchups if I level. I mean, if I win, it's also not the end of the world.
Actually, it might be a fuck it go eight and spike. Like, am I really gonna roll for a Jace three when I'm at two Jaces? It might just be go eight and then play around Aphilios. Good loss. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about going eight now. I have so much money. Probably don't play this. Actually, no, it's probably just roll a lot at seven. If I go eight and I fail to cash out, it's Jover. Oh, but eight and you do cash out, you could still go for Jace three. You can spike with so many strong things. I mean, I'm down to do the first or eighth, and the first or eighth is go eight. Level eight. But if I roll down at seven, I could hit Jace two, Echo two, Aphelios two, Esajuani. How much gold do I have? If I go eight, I only have like 10 gold to roll. Doesn't seem like the right answer. Maybe 20 gold. Good loss. Still 47 HP. Okay, I should roll at seven. So what do I need here? Uh, what does the comp say? Okay, the notes don't really accommodate for this situation. I'm gonna just use my best judgment. Actually, wait, 14 gold. I'll have 80 gold next round. 25 gold to roll. Do I think I can build a cash out worthy board in 28 gold? I feel like I can. Oh, now, now I definitely think I can. Anything to cash out. Anything to cash out. Yes! Yes! Give me Gunner Crest and the game is over. I can do Gunner A trucks. Abbreviated to gay trucks. Well, it's probably not Adrenaline Rush unless I happen to. On. Oh. It's probably you have my sword. Actually, it's probably Martyr. I can see Martyr being really good here because I have so many units. Bruiser Crest? Oh, four Bruiser actually seems pretty good here. So does tons of stats, honestly. I need tons of stats. It's easy. Really hard to fuck it up from this spot. I think it goes on you for now. Uh, I'm I'm super dizzy, but uh, let me think about this. It was probably Martyr. Bruiser Chris had potential. I could do Braytrox. I, don't, I feel like I don't regret tons of stats, though. Uh, let me scout around. Can anybody challenge me with the, my current board state? I'd like to econ up a bit. I don't feel like we really care about what a Forzon is, but we could kind of run Forzon by doing... Okay, Forzon's actually playable, because uh, Aatrox is a... Or... 
Warwick's a jug. If I hit Silco, I think I could actually do it. Is there anything to be scared of? I I want to say my board's just got to be really strong. I don't know anything about Piltover, so I don't even know how people position the Hex, or the T-Hex. But I'm pretty sure uh, Radiant TG on Jinx is good for now. And then I think you eventually put it on Gangplank, so we'll keep this remover for a while. Okay, so a spat is really good here. Uh, I think a chain vest is actually good. Uh, I would like to do jug spat. Jug spat makes a lot of sense here. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! Nobody say a goddamn word! No! 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 Giant Slayer. Dang it! I mean, like, it's an Aatrox. We should probably expect it to not uh, be available. I feel like I'm fine anyway. This Jace carry will carry me for a while. Maybe I'll eventually item remove move it to Ophelios. Okay, yeah. The best bet is definitely a Fawn, and then the next best one would be a Juggernaut. Okay, well, my board is pretty good. Uh, I don't think I did this correctly. Okay, well, I, I didn't face the Rogue guy anyway. I, I feel like I have too many units to Rogue position. Or position, for, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I have too many units. Maybe I'll just spread out my carries. I need to ask myself if I'm going nine or not. I'm definitely gonna roll a little bit here. I've got quite a lot of open slots. Forever. Oh my god, I'm the best! Now, I am the world ender. Oh, I'm actually just the best. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save my item remover. I, I'll probably rebuild this Vi. Yeah, I'm thinking like, okay, move the move the Vi items to Aatrox right now. But the other part of me is thinking, I need to move the TG. I guess you could sell Jinx. Yeah, I mean you could also sell Vi. It's probably it, it probably was move the Radiant TG right now. Oh my God. How is he just so good at the game? I'm like out of units to play, I guess. Alright, if my Jinx ever rolls bad items, I'll move the items to Aatrox. But like, I've got dueling gunners. I feel like I need items on my gunners. Endgame, it definitely needs to go on Gangplank. Come on, give me a chain, give me a chain. I'm begging you for one chain. Chain! Yes! Oh, wait. Wait. Wait! Gun trucks. Jai. And then let's go ahead and just slap this uh, RFC on you. Long gun trucks. And then once I get gangplank, oh my god. I also have HP. Why don't we just go nine?
Did I lose? Okay, gun trucks! Gun trucks cleaning it up! Let's go nine, let's go nine. Was that the rogue matchup? It was. Okay, that was my scariest matchup and we won. Is the Graves one better than... Yeah, it's, it's probably is. I probably want all my carries hitting the same target. Oh yeah, I kill this Mord immediately. The one downside to this is that if I were to uh, get like Jarvan, I'm just getting my whole team stunned over and over and over again. Oh, <laughs> it's fine, it's a Jarvan one. Wait, it's not fine, it's not fine. I thought it was fine, it's not fine. Can somebody live long enough and give him a respawn? He's back! Oh no! All right, my bad. Bad positioning. Oh man, that's my bad. Okay, a truck should be on this side. I really need one gangplank, and this game becomes really free. Thank God I cashed out with like health, because I don't really know how to pilot this. I I'd be like really scared if I was at 60 stacks, but one HP. Come on, get the respawn, get the respawn. Yes. Come on, 1v5, 1v5! This is so funny. <laughs> I don't feel like uh, RFC trucks does anything, but it's damage, I guess. You have Freljord? now reached 1,000 pogs today. Wait, I don't actually need Freljord. Uh What do I need? Maybe Sterex? I feel like Sterex is very reasonable here. So is IE. And Night Harvester. I think since we have an RFC, I want him to deal damage. IE just makes so much sense with dueling gunners, tons of stats. I could go 9 right now, but I need money to roll as well. I have 39 health, like, I'm probably stacking two more rounds. Okay, I'm gonna start spreading out. I'll like have an Aatrox side and then a not Aatrox side. There's probably some way to position this T-Hex, but I have no idea. And it's too late for me to ask people now. Okay, I don't feel like this RC does anything on Aatrox. Alright, it's fine. It's attack speed. Hold both of these. A rebuild of Vi to eventually move to Sejuani is good. Or even Nasus. No, Sejuani 2 is definitely like the pog. Jarvins! Sorry, Jinx. <laughs> oh, Jinx is fine. Jinx is not fine. Oh, 
Oh, I won? Yeah. I... Wow. Okay, I should not have won that. All right, well, we just go nine now. I get one gangplank, and then you can type GG. I can maybe even sack one, but I'm kind of a bitch. I'm too scared to sack one. Uh, who do I not need? I'm pretty sure I need... Uh, I don't need Echo. I need to make bench space, is why I'm wondering. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And then just throw everything on Sejuani. Just get ready for this pivot. I need to pre-do some of my actions. And then now I can leave some bench spaces open. And then I'm keeping my remover in case I need, if, in case I want to go for Jinx 3, but not 100% necessary. This is going to be a really dizzying roll down. That's not useful. All right, one gang plank, please. Is there room for Heimer? Oh, Heimer over Echo. Yeah. We can pivot out of Forzon. All right. It's time. Let's finish this. I think I want burn. Yeah, I think it's just triple burn. Alright, I have a last little spur. Okay, my Jinx keeps on rolling good items. Once she rolls a bad item, I'm gonna remove it. What a slaughter. And we can still get stronger. Give me that last J. One more J, please. I haven't got a single burn yet. Set sail. I still haven't gotten a burn. I mean, it's fine. I'll still win anyway. Ooh. Rogues is kind of the counter here. But hopefully my board is so overwhelmingly strong that it doesn't matter. Like, you can't beat my gun trucks, right? My gay trucks. My two-star, four-jug, six-gunner gay trucks. Yeah. Woo! We brack. I coin flipped first or eighth, and we are back. All right, hello guys. I'm actually right back in the middle now. I went, I went seventh, no, I went eighth, second, seventh, first. A perfectly average result.
Yeah, I've never seen a gay truck so strong. Actually, gun trucks is probably more appropriate. But gay trucks farms more emotes. Six gunners? Wait, yeah, what a crazy board. I was like hesitant about the Piltover, and then I sold it for Econ, saying I'd rather just like play a regular start but advantaged. And then it came back. And then it gave me Tiny Titans. That's actually just like, I wouldn't say one in a million, but a very rare game. One in a thousand. Are you still going to quit after a game like that? Oh, absolutely. What? TNT is still a great game. I just don't want to play uh, until set 10. Like, I, I still feel frustrated about the overall meta. I high roll the game, which feels great. But I still feel, in general, a lot of frustration. If anything, I'm happy I got to, like, end my TFT career of set 9.5 with a bang. And, like, we'll be back in set 10. I still plan on doing events. I love the TFT team. I like Riot. We have a good relationship. We aren't breaking up or anything like that. Where do you place the T-Hex? I have no idea. I just put in the middle. But th there's probably, like, some ideology to it. There are people who play like a lot of Piltover, and I'm not one of them. I've played one Piltover game in the last maybe 200 games. Thank you, IME, for the sub. Sorry, I have my alerts off for the tournament. All right, let's go ahead and see. I'm right in the middle now. Uh, I think I can make it to the first cutoff, and then I cannot make it past the second cutoff. That's probably what's going to happen. So, now that I just got a first, that puts me at 18 points. Holy shit! Let's go Setsuko. He's a beast. 27 points. That means he went first, first, second? Wait. No, he went first, first, first with three bonus points. Wow, what a beast. He's just the best player in the world. I mean, the spot that I saw him in when I was in his lobby, I thought he was in like a really bad spot and then he somehow made it work. So he might actually just be the best player in the world. I had the opportunity to send him seventh if I, if I was skilled enough to grief him. I was facing him and I was like, huh, he has four Mordekaisers. I could hold this Mordekaiser in my shop, but like if he's at four, he's surely not gonna hit before he dies. And then I look over again and he was actually at seven. I didn't realize. And then he hit Mordekaiser three at one HP. I had the opportunity to, to make it harder for him and I didn't think about it in time. All right, so for me, uh, if, if I want to make it to the, the penultimate lobby, which penultimate actually sounds cooler than ultimate lobby. Penultimate, if you don't know what that means, it means like second to last. I don't know why they gave it such an epic sounding word. But yeah, uh, the penultimate lobby, uh, I need to get a fourth to move on, I think. And then the final lobby would require a first in this next game and then a first in the penultimate lobby. Yeah, if I go fourth in this lobby, I can move on to the penultimate lobby, but there's no chance of making it to the final lobby. Uh, if I go first, then I go on to go on and uh, and there's a chance of making it to the final lobby. So like, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna like be a psychopath again and just hope it works out. I was a psycho two games so far, and in both. Wait. Uh, no, I was a psycho in three of my games, and one of them gave me an eighth, and then two of them gave me a first. So honestly, I have a pretty good track record for being a psycho. What are you going to play after you retire from set 9.5? Uh, most likely League. I randomly saw a video about how uh, Korean pros are playing least in top. So I'm kind of interested in that. I might do like a least in top to challenger. 
Well, I won't have enough time to grind a challenger. Uh, it'll probably just be like, see how long it takes me to hit masters. I haven't played the league solo queue in, I think, three years. Not since the changes. Uh, I quit League of Legends because of uh, how Riot handled solo queue. In general, I just think they handled it very poorly. Uh, so, like, solo queue is, like, not a good place to be. It's not where I want to spend eight hours of my day anymore. I used to, uh, but I no longer do. Uh, and also, for a one-trick like me, it's, like, even worse. There's a lot of queue sniping and stream sniping. I, like... I'd rather... I'd rather... I was going to say something really inappropriate, but this is a tournament. Uh... I do not want to stream with a delay. I do not want to stream with a delay. I, but like if I want to solo queue to Challenger, I have to. Because people are desperate for... I wouldn't say desperate, but like people want to win. And they, like, they want to win bad enough that they would stream snipe. So like, you basically have to stream with like a three minute delay and then not, not talk. And it's really, it's like really not fun. You also can't duo. So, like, there's no fun uh, top lane jungle shenanigans anymore. It's just top lane, sit on an island for 40 minutes, wait in queue for 40 minutes, sit on an island for 40 minutes. It's really lame. The amount of times where I would um, do something along the lines of, like, uh, I'd be 0-0 zero and zero in my lane, or even, like, 1-0 and zero in my lane, with 200 CS at 20 minutes, and then my bot lane loses a fight and we forfeit, I'm just like, bro, what's the point? But, like, there's even the inverse. Like, win or lose, like, the fact that I'm not playing the game is what upsets me. I've had the inverse, where I'm 0-1 and one in my lane, and then my bot lane wins a fight, and the enemy team surrenders. Like, that's also not fun. Uh, why am I even streaming at that point? If I was just going to farm against an opponent, and then uh, wait for them to... Wait for one of the bot lanes to win, and then the game's over. I TP to one jungle fight, and then it's like... That's, like, my entire contribution for the entire game. I think, like, it was somewhere around, like, one out of every ten, maybe one out of every uh, five games was, like, a good game where I felt like my impact mattered. So, like, that's why I quit. I like the ribbon. I like the duels that can happen top lane, but I did not like the overall gameplay. But I haven't played in so long that I might be down to subject myself to the torture again uh, for, like, a month. Since it's just, like, a one-month break before we come back to TFT, I... I think that's about the right amount of time to, like, not turn into a psychopath playing uh, League of Legends. Yeah, there's also, like, a possibility of a Valorant grind or a Street Fighter grind uh, or a Baldur's Gate 3 run. I actually, like, really like the idea of a Baldur's Gate 3 run, but... Uh, historically, single-player games just do not do a very well on my stream. I think most of the audience comes for, like, competitive multiplayer games. So when people see uh, something like Baldur's Gate, they leave. Which is really sad, because, like, I think some of my best stream moments are from when I played single-player games. I I usually stream all, like, the, the Dark Souls kind of games. Like, I streamed Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3, and many variants of the games. Uh, Sekiro, sexy anime Dark Souls, uh, which was called uh, Code Vein. I streamed all of those. I get, like, no viewers. My viewership goes from, like, 6,000 to, like, 1,000 when I stream single-player games. Which makes me really sad, because I think... I think the streams are fun. I think people just, like, don't really like watching single-player games. I put in a lot of effort to making the streams fun. I make a PowerPoint that Annie and I always update so that if you miss, like, a day, you are still caught up on the storyline. And then we put a lot of effort into making the streams fun and high energy, but people just don't like watching single-player games. We never get enough viewers to, like, justify doing it over just playing more TFT or more, like, League of Legends. But I, I do think it's mostly because I have not built a reputation for single-player games. I think someone like Lyric could do it really well. Alright, this is probably the last game. I uh, So how I think it works is... We are going to play a fifth game, and then if I make it, in, if I top four, I get to play a sixth game. And then if I, if the combination of the fifth and sixth game is really good, it had to be like first, second, basically. Uh, then I get to play the seventh and final game. 
I, I'm not gonna play for a top four. I'll tell you guys right now. I'm going to once again coin flip it because I don't care about any result other than uh, regionals, which would be like a fourth place out of 32. And right now I'm right in the middle. I'm pretty sure I'm like number 15. So like, the middle was good enough for days one through three. The middle is not good enough for today. So I'm gonna just be a psycho and just hope that I hit two games in a row. Did this refresh yet? I did not refresh. What if I incognito it? Oh wow, I'm one point below average. Uh-oh. Oh man, I have to get third? Uh-oh. Oh, actually, no, I'm pretty sure a fourth place does move on. Uh, I'll win the tiebreaker. But if you win, if you get top four, like, who really cares? That that takes me to a, a fourth place would put me, like, on the edge of the penultimate lobby, and then no matter what place I get in the final lobby, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to play for a first. Like, I, I don't mind losing here. I, I could lose here, and then I'd still, like, feel pretty proud of my performance. So... The only, like, to win is to get a top four in the tournament, which would be to catch up eight points. I'm not even sure if that's doable, depending on how well these guys do. It would, it would require a first and a first and then some luck of uh, these guys not doing well. Or more like one of them not doing well. Okay, I mean, I'm just going to get first and first, and then if I don't make it, then that's fine. All right, I'm going to play the ad break. I'll see you guys after the game. Got to close my chat now. We're going to be a psycho. Roll it down and pray that I hit. Is everyone else back from Box Box's bathroom? Thank you. 
Dang it. There's no Gamba ones. Well, Targon's a little Gamba. I'm not a fan of Targon personally, though. Flushing Arena into, like, praying that you get the right 5 cost is probably the right play here. We're playing for first only. Any result that's, like, not first or second, I may as well give up. Oh, Kale. Kale could actually be it. Kale is the first double board. It's just like, did you hit on your rolldown? But yes, one of the ways you get first is to simply just hit your Kale 3 very quickly. If I... Guilty. Hmm. Another way you get first is to say, me rogues. Oh! Let's start the show. Would I ever just say, me rogues? No pivot? Probably not. Oh, you know what? I haven't gotten, not only in the tournament, but also in my solo queue. I haven't gotten the boss. How cinematic would it be if on the final game, I, I boss it up? Whew, that'd be awesome. I'm probably not gonna sell this cat. Okay, wait. This definitely looks good. I must make it count. Sword, belt, Jin 2. It's looking like a make econ angle. Oh wait, how many kills? Two kills, bow, duplicate. Okay, he's probably locked in the kill. Uh no one's locked in a Jin yet. I mean people will pivot into Jin all the time, but this is a promising start. I'm down to sell this. Really good items, holy shit. Uh, okay, just give me the boss. No, that's the wrong one. Demon Flare? No! Please, give me the boss. Please. Please, from this spot, it's so good. Oh man, it might have to be Pandora's. Please, I'm begging you on this last one. Boss. No. Uh, my items are actually pretty good. I feel like I'm down for three's company and then push, push tempo. Wait, there might be a... Hmm. There might've been a stronger board here actually. Uh, with this Casio, Darius, Samira. No, I put the belt on too late. Oh fuck, is this a belt diff? Oh, actually, it, it was probably to say I got owned diff. Okay, I uh, yeah, I'm gonna do something psychopathic. I'm going to pre-level and I'm gonna just like push aggressive. Whoa, okay. Let's start the it's too show. late for me to reroll gins, but this is like, I could re uh, rebuild Jin angle. Man, it's a shame that the boss did not come back for me. When I needed him, when the world needed him the most, he vanished. I regret slamming this belt on Darius but really hard. Uh, it could have made like a fine Nautilus item or a guard breaker. Okay, well, hopefully with my start, I discourage people from pivoting into me. I wouldn't say Ionia Vanquishers is a first place board, especially if you take Econ Start. But like, who knows? I could still just like hit on my rolldown and go nine. That's like a, a very firstable way to win. Ionia still stands. It's a solid start. And like, if I was gonna lose, at least I lost on the first fight. I can still four streak. I feel like that guy was just really strong. I, I did have a Nasher's Tooth available, so I kind of wish I could play that. Whoa. You. Okay, I'm like down to lose Ionia. I have but one Interesting. Life to give for Ionia. I must make it count. Interesting. You know what might get first? A natural Gen 3. <laughs> Going back to my roots.
Okay, what are the odds of Jin on Carousel with a spat? I mean, as of right now, it looks like it's just a remake. But if I hit one more natural Jin, I might roll for it. Rolling for it at five is a little awkward, though. I can plug into the calculator right now. Uh, every roll has a 14% chance right now. Uh, what if I roll, like, 30 gold? If I roll 30 gold, I have a 65% chance of hitting. Would I trade 30 gold for a Jin 3? I don't think so. Two Jin 2s will do just fine. All right. Uh, I want, like, a... Uh, spat. Let me think. I have a belt right now. Uh, even Shroud's probably my best play here. Actually, I feel like I need the tank items. I feel like every time I play Vinx without like a good solid three item tank, my frontline just crumbles. That's that's why I went eighth in the first game, even though I thought I had a good board. I just like my frontline was so garbage that I didn't get to play. So I'm down to like some. Uh... As I am. I think I'm supposed to move this from Darius off, but uh, it's fine on set. All right, Jin Brit, uh, bros. I was going to say Jin twins, but then if you combine Jin and twins together, you get Jins. All right, I mean, one of you guys to one shot this Graves. Oh, what a shot! Oh my God, they're both at one HP, taking the synchronized shots. That's so sexy. All right. Yes, yes, I will take a two-star Juggernaut now. Mark Dog, if you're here watching, please give me a two-star Darius. Dang it. Ionia. Place was so damn quiet before I uh, Okay, I'm not kidding. I'm down to roll one time because there's so many outs here. Irelia, Nautilus, Set, Darius. I'm like pretty sure I hit one. You know, I did that in an earlier game and then I didn't hit. I got like another pair and then I rolled again and then I got another pair and then I rolled to zero and it, it like instantly tilted me off the face of the earth. But I actually did have a lot of outs here, and I really need the streak, so I was down. Also, like, you could also hit Jin's, and, like, I was already half thinking about rolling for Jin anyway, so I felt like that was a very reasonable, very reasonable roll there, right there. Even if I just, like, miss and hit a Jin, it's not the end of the world. Ooh, and I'm pretty sure this Darius 2 makes the diff. Decently close fight. Alright, I'm probably not rolling anymore. Probably not rolling anymore. I want to, because it's like, oh, you can hit Irela, you can hit Set, and you can even hit Jin 3. Oh, but I really shouldn't. I might roll until I hit one upgrade. But I really shouldn't. Oh, I really shouldn't. Because I, I need to just push levels and hit the Zaya. Like, as of right now, I'm in a great spot to just, like, roll at 7, and then rebuild my Jin. Infinity Edge. You know, I used to say Infinity Edge is really bad because, like, Vanquishers can already crit. But it is still stats. I wonder if I'd ever slam it here. Alright, I'm gonna roll, like, once and see if I can hit an Irelia or set. I'm gonna roll one more time. Wait, I hit a... Oh. Guys, I should roll one more time. Oh. Surely I should stop here, right? <laughs> Surely now we stop. Surely now I stop. Okay, I'm actually down to just like do this, and then I eventually I'll hit two gins. Like, if I roll at seven, I will actually hit two gins. Very likely. 
And in the, in the event that I don't, I guess we could just move items. I think this is very reasonable. Okay. Now, normally, I don't like Tactician's Tools, the one that gives you two spats. But if I get that right here, that actually gives me Ionia spat, Vanquisher spat. So it's actually like the best item in the game. Or the best augment in the game right here. Freaky Friday is pretty solid. Imagine Tactician's Tools right here. No. Radiant Relics. No. Oh, Binary's great. Uh, it's probably not level up. I already leveled. Wait, it's actually great. Okay, so you just glove this guy or chain him. And then do I want a sword gin or glove gin? It depends on like what I want on a different unit later. I think it's sword gin. Save the glove for someone else. Okay, and I'm not going to roll for the gin because I hit all my other two stars. We should just go seven later and roll for Zaya, and like, you'll just eventually pick up. Is this guy? I wonder what this guy is gonna play. <laughs> Ionia Vanquisher, RFC, RFC Gwinsus. Okay. I, I need to pray that none of my units are on the carousel because he's just gonna take it away. All right. We are in a spot where I could get first if I high roll, which is exactly the spot I want to be in. We ain't playing for our fourth here. We playing for our first or last, which means I roll it down at seven and I pray I hit two Jins and one Zaya. And we'll probably just play four jugs. Like Darius two, Nautilus two, set two is kind of crazy here for having barely rolled. Okay, scout, how contested are we? Uh, void reroll. Noxus? Nico reroll. That's a little scary. Gunners? Interesting. I don't feel like that's good. Uh, Freaky Friday. This guy looks like he's gonna also play uh, Ionia Vanks. Ionia Vanks and Piltover. Okay. Uh, I'm contested by two people. Honestly, I feel like that's the norm. Let's just do our best to make it work. Yo, my Jin just completely whipped his ult. Can we report that? I think it's a bannable offense. Uh, I don't think I'm selling these Warwicks. I think I'm leveling and rolling until I hit something. All right, no, no Zayas, no Nihilus? Yes, yes. That's good. My contesters don't get anything good. All right, I just gotta choose my component now. It's probably a bow if possible for Last Whisper. Last Whisper Zaya is great here. Uh, otherwise, Guardbreaker. What? Bremble. I'm rolling until I hit one good unit. That's probably good enough. It's probably good enough. Okay. Did anyone here hit? Oh, he rolled. He leveled and rolled down. He didn't hit. Thank God. Uh, he did not level and roll down yet. I think he might be plot posturing for Mordekaiser. I hope he does. Ooh, how many last whispers would you like? Yes. Ooh, if I beat Mr. 100 here, it's huge. No! No! He wasted his full ult. I, I was probably gonna lose anyway, though. Not the end of the world. Damn, I lost a guy who was level 650 gold. Uh, it's probably because of my positioning. Oh wait, no, it's just because I think six voids really strong. I mean, not the end of the world. I got to keep my streak for most of it. I... Is it possible that this guy pivots? 
I feel like he has lucky gloves. I think there's a good chance he actually sells his board and pivots into me. Do you pay? He's done it before. He actually like, kind of has a setup for it. He has um, lucky gloves, gifts from the fallen, and a duplicator. He's not holding any any vanquishers though. But, like, what's his plan? He has an open bow. Okay, well, you already know I'm me. I'm gonna roll it down. Uh, a win for me is hitting one Zaya, two Jins, or three Zayas. I'm gonna roll down to 20 first, and then I will roll down after that. Yeah, roll down to 20, and then wait one, and then roll again. I think it's the correct play here. There will be peace in the trail yard. I will Noxus will rise. I will rest when our homelands are restored. Okay, he didn't hit yet. Nice. I gotta keep going. I'm sure two gins are right. No! Wait, I can't slam anything. Uh oh. Wait, I can't slam anything with this. Also, I hit zero gins. Fuck, I got two Zayas, zero gins. I, I have to keep donkey rolling, unfortunately. Wait, I actually can't play the game. This guy has a three-star Nico. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys, it's not looking like a first. I got zero Nylas, one Zaya, or two Zayas, zero gins. Oh, Pandora's items could actually be a bailout here. Uh, yeah, actually. All right, come on, Albert, you can do it. Just hit one Zaya. Here's a Nyla. I think it's better. I've got Pandora's items. I feel like this gangplank's actually really good. Uh, is it better than Warwick, though? It activates Bilgewater. Fuck. No, I feel like four drugs is better. Uh, I just gotta figure out what items I want. First, I want one glove on Zaya. We, we want a Last Whisper. And then... Yeah, then I gotta keep reforging. Aw, oh, man. Rough roll down. It's okay. I, I don't regret the gamble. I, I'm I'm sure that it was the correct play. We just didn't hit. It's also like not too late to hit. I could still hit two gins. I can also just rebuild him. Man, if I, if I was able to go eight and play this gangplank, I'd be so strong, but there's no way. Like I'm gonna bleed 20 HP every round I don't hit. We gotta roll. I never hold back. I have but one life to give for Ionia. I must make it count. Here's one Jin. Uh, I'm probably not gonna win. I'm probably the lock. I don't think I'd ever sell my Zaya for it. The reason why I was rolling though is because if I hit Zaya, I would be down to self uh, be down to rebuild Jin. If I hit. It's looking rough, guys. I think it's gonna be like a fifth. We didn't hit on our roll down. 
Uh, is that spat even good for me? Not really. I think I'm just taking most gold here, preferably a bow. All right, I'm begging you. Please give me one Zaya, one Jin at my next shop. That's like the only way I can still win if I hit right here. How many Zayas out of the pool? I saw a lot, but I mostly saw Nihilus. No, it's a Fiora? No. All right, I'm begging you. Come on. Please! Please! No. Is this the saddest? I'm about to be ruined. I'm doing Asher's Zaya. Okay, I, I sold the Nyla because there's no way I'm, I'm three, uh, two starring. I'd rather do this, have the unit right now, and then I'll just get like an Ash later. I, I think I'm fucked either way. I I need a miracle. I need him. Come home, Jin. You're the only thing that can save me now. I need to natural you right now and an ash. Come on. And a Nyla! And a Nyla! This was bad positioning. Both of my carries want to be on a corner, but you also want them hitting the same target, so it's kind of rough. Probably uh, RFC. What the hell? The red tail just flashed. You guys saw that? No, I would have won. The red tail just flashed onto my gin. It like died and then did like one big fuck you. All right, give me a bow. RFC plus anything. There is a world where I get out of this alive. Survive three rounds, or two out of three rounds, go eight. Play Gangplank. Pog out is here, Pog. Get an Aatrox. Oh, it's Flushing Arena. I could get bailed out. I could get Gangplank or Aatrox here. This looks good to me. Jin, you are the insurance against tanks. We gotta go, we gotta go eight. Come on. Oh, this guy has Ionia and Nyla. Is there a chance that my Jin one-shots this, this Shen? No. Oh, kind of, kind of. Is there hope? Yes! This Jin's a beast! It's a top five at least. If it's a top four, I get to move on to the final lobby. It's not Jover yet. I have to go eight. I have to hit a gangplank. Also, people below me are the ones with Nyla's. Jesus Christ. This is quite possibly my last game of TFT of set 9.5. Let's make it good. Let's make it a banger. What needs to happen here? Jin, you need to one-shot these guys and then ult the Nasus.
Uh, uh oh. I just got rolled. Okay, top five. I think I had bad positioning there. I should have been like that. I feel like Jin's the least important unit, so I need I don't need to protect him. Alright. Would I ever risk it and have I have an idea. Incredibly risky, but what if What if I clump? There is a Jarvan 1, but it's a Jarvan 1. You see that Jarvan? I can actually kill him before he ults. Yes! And then all my damage is focus fired. What a line! Dude, my Jin just pierced the whole team! Zaya's got an Edge of Night. Jin's got one more shot left in him. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm alive! Gangplank! Oh my god! Gangplank on Carousel! Come on! I actually survived because that positioning had barely salvaged me enough HP. Gangplank! Yes! We level to eight, and we just have to position and gap our way to three fights. Another gangplank. Wait, is there a chance that I roll twice here and hit a third gangplank? Like, unironically? No. It's probably a Warwick, and then I move items later. Okay, this guy's positioned like that. Come on. Tell me it's enough. My units rolled good items. All my all my binary value is good. No! Ah, it's not close. Nice try, team. It was definitely not close to a top four. It was the closest you could get to a top four without feeling like it was top fourable. I, it took me way too long on the roll down to hit, but that is kind of what you ask for when you um, when you play Ionia Vanks. I think four different people rolled for the same units I did. I eventually hit it enough to get a fifth, but not early enough to get a top four. This build is kind of crazy. He didn't have golden ticket, and he three-starred a Rek'Sai and a Vel'Koz. That's like first place material. That's kind of impressive. He like didn't hit his eight void. Like he didn't hit one Rex uh Belveth, but he did hit nine Belkaz's nine Rex size. Alright, honestly, closing thoughts, not bad. For how angry and tilted and depressed I am about the game, not a bad performance at all. I thought I was not gonna make it past day two. And we got to day four, and we were one point off of making it to the uh, the penultimate lobby. Although, let's be real here, if I made it to the penultimate lobby, I would have been fucked anyway. I think only a first and then a first had a chance of moving on. Not bad. Not bad. I can I can uh, finish my 9.5 career uh, with this and feel very proud of this. All right, let me open the chat. All right, yeah, we did it. We uh, we played way better than expectations. I will be honest though, I definitely felt like I just forced lines and in the games where I hit, I won, and the games where I didn't hit, I lost. I can think of like three different games where like there was a very obvious like way to play it better. Aside from that, I just felt like whether or not I won or lost was based on uh, if I hit my unit. Thank <laughs> you.
I think every game has like a couple spots that could be salvaged if you like play perfectly and like position well and save HP. But in general, like nothing can change the difference between hitting your four cost carry two star or your one cost carry three star. Nothing changes the difference more than that. This Void reroll board's kind of sick. Insane augments. And then he also hit the 3-star XI so early. He's probably he's probably winning the whole thing. Oh wait, actually there's a large woman. This large woman might make it close. This guy also hit. Oh yeah, this is the guy with 3-star Nico on stage 3. You have now reached 100 flush today. Place your bets. Large woman versus the large worm. Wow, I've seen this video before. Oh wait, he doesn't have the worm yet. Oh no, he does, he does, he does. Alright, eyes on this large woman. She reaches 40 stacks, she grows double her size to 7 feet. I know some of you guys are into that. And then she is otherwise unkillable because 3 star Soraka econs her back to full. Did I say econs her back to full? Heals her back to full. All right, place your bets. Nico versus the worm. Wait, dude, this giant worm is gonna knock her up right immediately with this positioning. I mean, that's probably fine though. She's not an auto attacker. Oh, she dodges to the side. Oh, it doesn't matter. Hello, Chris, nice to see you here. Wait, Nico might win. Rex I down. Oh, large woman down. I repeat, large woman down. Okay, but wait. But wait, there's more. Both of them have a 50 gold level eight. And the Nico player has 60 health. What can he cook up? in four turns. What can the large woman cook up to win in four turns? So he goes nine and then what? You can't Cassante it. You don't have enough money to roll for a three. Oh, you leveled now? I, I think that's a throw. I He had so much HP, he could have like held a lot of money. I feel like he was not supposed to roll here. I think that's a blunder. Both of them did it? Actually, Ramcap kind of has to because he's low. But I don't think the Nico guy was supposed to. I think he was supposed to just like sack two, uh, have like 30 HP left, and then go nine with a lot of gold. He didn't. He didn't hit his timer. Okay, but this rise might make a diff. Yeah, maybe he believes that it's mostly fight RNG and he just wants to, like, have as many tries as possible. It's close! It's close! That Baron's got one life! 86 health! Uh, I don't know why he's holding this Cassante. Does he want Cassante 2 over Cassidy in 3? I guess it's probably better. It's probably better. But like... Oh yeah, because you can aim it at Rek'Sai. But you can't aim it at the Baron. Can he get to six invokers? Uh, if he drops Heimer, he could. But that's probably not worth it. Did you qualify? I don't think so. I think I'm one point below the line.
What about Cassante over Shen? No, then he loses Ionia. Not worth. Shen's definitely just a good unit. It's probably overcasted in three. Wind Ixtal? Oh wait, Wind Ixtal's kind of big. He's probably keeping that. All right, I let him cook. What can he do? Cassante two, Rise two. He probably sells Cassid in three here. I feel like that's the best play. Or I mean, like, what else are you gonna put in over? I feel like he's gonna put in over Cassid at the last second. Oh, he didn't. Wait, why is he holding it then? Oh, hello, Mort Dog. Nice to see you here. Happy to have you here on my journey. Dude, I saw you bless my shop. I sold Piltover earlier, and then you're like, hey, buddy, you dropped this, and you gave me Piltover back. I, like, sold Piltover for Econ, and I was like, oh, probably should have kept that. And you gave it back to me next round. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's how I got my first. Wait, he won! He did it! I didn't even see what he did. The large woman. Oh, wait. I think it's two-star rise. Wait, what does two-star rise do over, over one-star rise? One more item. One more axe. Uh, and each axe deals extra damage. How much damage is that Rise really doing? Oh, this Rek'Sai is in there. The Rek'Sai jumps through the turret into the back line. Oh no! Who let Rek'Sai in? The turret is a, an imposta. The turret gave the Rek'Sai the perfect jump in. It's Jover. Oh wait, it's not Jover. It's so close. The Heimer turret against the Aatrox. How can a fight get that close? Oh wow, he assembled a Belveth 2 to prevent Ram Kit from assembling a Belveth 2. That's kind of exciting. What a, what a, what a satisfying final fight. This Void Rule build is pretty cool. All right, place your bets. Large woman or the worm? Oh, the large woman's in a great spot right now. The Rek'Sai failed to go through the turret. I think the large woman may be taking this home. Oh, the large woman's gonna take, wait. Yeah, the large woman's gonna take it. That's pretty hype. That was a cool final fight. All right, uh, let's go and take a look at the standings. I think I didn't make it by one point, which is really tragic because I made a blunder yesterday that cost me two points going into today. But also, the one nice thing is I'm going to tell myself that it didn't matter because even if you barely scrape by to the, the next cutoff, you have a 0% chance of making it into the final lobby.
So I'm gonna tell myself it didn't matter. I am overall pleased with this performance. Man, if you weren't here yesterday, uh, yesterday I, I barely didn't make uh, the cutoff for bonus points. And it's because I made a blunder where I lost my Radiant item on my Fiora and then died in a very close lobby. I lost three placements. So I would be at 35 points right here, which would get me two bonus points. Or if I did win the lobby, which was also possible but not likely, if I won the lobby, I would get three bonus points. So like, that definitely made the difference between me making it to the next lobby or not. But I can tell myself it didn't matter because in the journey to regionals, I, you needed more than that. Let's take a look. So here I'm at 18. I got four points, so I'm at 22. So I think it's very likely that multiple of these people pass me. I expect to not make it by one point, but we can still wait and see. Wait, is there an updated score sheet past this? Check Froden. Oh, I see. Uh, Jack had a pretty bad day, but at least he got a top four. Oh, why MDN had an even worse? Oh yeah, I needed one more points. point. One more point for the tiebreaker, and then if I if I am in the tiebreaker, I would win it because I had a first. Oh, man. I mean, that fu that game, there was no way I was getting fourth. There was, like, a massive gap between, like, the strong and the weak that game. I was the strongest of the week. I would have to have been, like, 40 gold richer or 40 more health to, like, to survive that. So, I'm, I'm not too sad. It wasn't that close. More important question is, who got last? All I'm saying is, I was in the lobby, Setsuko wasn't hitting more three. <laughs> true, true. I think I'm going to peep post it out for the next games. Okay. Later, Ray. Thanks for stopping by. All right, I'll be in chat. Sounds good. Later, buddy. See ya. Alright, so uh, the broad, we don't vote on this. There's only two lobbies left. Main broadcast does one, and then we do the other one. So they're doing lobby A, and lobby A is um, this. Sasuko, Kiyonagi, X Niyamo, Asa, me first. Wait. Oh, wait, I should save the link to that spreadsheet. Froden keeps uh, referencing it. Oh, actually, he might have it in the DMs with me. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I think this is it. Oh, no, this is the wrong day. Day four? Setsuko has 40 points. Is that five firsts in a row? Oh, he got a fourth? Oh, he got four firsts and one fourth. Wow, he's slacking. Really? A fourth? That's gonna bring down your average, young man. It's just gonna be, wait, Goobums also must have been popping off as well. That must literally be like an average of two. Oh, let's go Asa. Number eight. So this is interesting. So uh, the top four qualify for regionals. 
Satsuko and Goobums are going to compete for the first, and then everybody else is, like, in range to compete for, like, everyone here, I think, could realistically uh, make it to regionals. So that's still that's still eight people that are fighting for uh, two spots. That's kind of exciting. Oh, yeah, I guess Setsuko already made it to regionals, so I wonder if they give it to the next person. Wait, I beat Emily Wang. I won the tiebreaker against her. Let's go. It's because I have a first place and she doesn't. I wonder if in that last game there was a more psycho first or eighth play I could have done. Because the build that I had was definitely not getting first even if I hit. Like, I was contested by half the lobby. And I eventually hit, it took like an extra 30 gold, and then I got fifth. If I hit like immediately, I feel like I'm still going fourth. I wonder if there was an angle. I don't think any of my augments were that good. Or like any of my, none of my augments are like good for first or anything. Demon Flare? No, I don't have an angle for Demon Flare there. I have zero units. You'd basically like be playing Demon Flare from like massively behind. I'm pretty sure Ionia Vanquishers has higher placement stats than uh, Demon Flare from that spot. My spot for Vanquishers was above average and my spot for Demon Flare was horrible. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was like, like a, like the, the Piltover play was a very obvious like first or eighth play. Was there another angle I could have done that like just coin flips it? Cause I'm not even really playing for a top four. Cause even if I made it by one point, I would just die immediately afterwards, right? Like, uh, even a first place, like if I go fourth and then first, I'm still not making it to the final lobby. I I was basically only playing for our first there and I couldn't find one. I thought gambling for Ionia Vanquishers was the first or eighth play, but looking at this lobby, like there was no way, right? I was still dying even if I hit that. Binary was a bait. No, I guarantee you binary was good there. If you looked at my augment choices, there was no good ones. Or there was no, like, first placeable ones. Like, the only one that maybe could have been a first place was level up if you knew you were going to get level up and you didn't level beforehand. If I knew level up was coming and I saved up all my money and went nine, then there was maybe an angle there where you just, like, pivot out of Vanquishers, just play random uh, legendary bullshit that might win. But, like, there's no way to know that, and our best play was to level to keep our streak there. Yeah, binary was, like, very efficient. I got insane value from it. Like, the reason I died was not because my board was bad. The reason I died was because the people in the top two hit crazy boards. Uh, the first place guy hit Nico 3 on stage 3, which is, like, unheard of. Like, stage 3 is where you roll for Nico 2. He had Nico 3, 30 gold, level 6, stage 3. That is, like, over 100 gold ahead of pace that's like if i went seven and my next my first three shops had zaya in them it's like the same level of rng and this guy was level eight rexi three with uh stable evolution void crown on stage four it was insane like you're not beating those levels of high roll unless you you uh high roll equally hard and choose a better build but like both of those builds are pretty viable and unfortunately, the high roll for uh, Zaya is to hit the Zaya 2. There's not really a Zaya 3 path there. Anyway, uh, overall, final thoughts. I'm very satisfied. Uh, this is my second ever tournament. The first one, I like averaged 6. I went like 7, 8, 6, 3, 6.
or something like that. Uh, and then I just, like, immediately died. It was horrible. Uh, I also, like, didn't feel like I had a chance to win. Like, I, I, th I felt like I played my best, and I just, like, sucked. But back then, I was, like, 400 LP. I, like, barely even qualified for the tournament. That was, like, that was two sets ago. Uh, this time, I was 1,000 LP going into the tournament. I felt moderately confident that I could get to day two. And then day one was pretty easy. Day two, I actually barely made it through. I actually started off with three bot fours. I went five, seven, seven. Which, if you do the math, requires basically perfect gameplay from then on to move on. And we actually got it. Uh, I got like first, first, first or something like that. Oh, wait, no, I think I went five, seven, five, and then one, three, three to get like a perfect, like barely tie break through to move on. I remember in, in my last. I uh, on day two I was placed in one of the hardest lobbies. Everyone was just like Jesus Christ, this lobby. It was like a bunch of like regionals players. And then I said, fuck it, I'm gonna force Zaya and just be the one who hits. And five players forced Zaya, and I was the one who hit, so I won. Uh that first get won me the tiebreaker when I eventually got two two more thirds after that. I play it in Azir, which is really crazy because Azir is just a really bad unit, but I played a very uncontested Azir where I hit early and saved HP. Uh, and then on the final game, I had no good angles, and my last augment reroll gave me the boss. Uh, and then I played the boss to a third, and I was really happy. And then I, w I won the tiebreaker. It was crazy. Uh, day three was actually, like, fine. I popped off. Uh, I made that one radiant item blunder, which cost me points on day four. Uh, and then day four was what you saw here. I just went first, eighth, first, eighth, first, eighth. And then I didn't make it by one point, because I got fifth on the last game. Actually, day three was pretty hype. On the final game, I needed a top four to move on, and I got nine bilge water. It was birthday present, and then I got three tomes, and I said, fuck it, like, I need to play nine something to win, and I got nine bilge water. I got three bilge water spets, which was incredibly a high roll. I only needed two to win, but I got all three. Box, box, so in conclusion, the radiant item bit you in the ass. Do you have ears? Do you not hear me say many times already in the last, like, eight minutes? I'm sad that the, the radiant item cost me points, but also, if I had the points, I am doomed to not make it to the next game anyway. Do you not have ears? If I got the two bonus points from not making the radiant item blunder, I would make it to the bottom of the, final, the penultimate lobby, and then no matter my result, I don't make it to the final lobby. Like, it's fine. If it, if it cost me a chance at regionals, I would have been sad. But, like, let me enjoy my performance, man. I'm very happy with how I played. I made blunders, and so did everyone else. Let me enjoy my... Let me, let me feel good about my performance. I, I think we did awesome. Did you have fun at least? Uh, no. No, not really. Um, I would describe tournaments as very stressful. I feel like I mostly was just like, if I lose to bad luck, I don't care. If I lose to my own mistakes, I'll be sad. So I just want to like make sure I played as solid as I could. Uh, as long as I identified the lines and like uh, played the best I could, I would, been, I would have been happy no matter the result. If I like played six games of Ionia Vanquishers on day one, and then in all six games I didn't hit, and then I didn't even make it to day two, like that would have been fine. As long as like looking back, the pl the original play was correct, then I'm fine with that. Okay, so uh, what the hell? My screen just went all white. So uh, in conclusion, to wrap it up uh, for TFT for this, I. Uh, I'm happy with this tournament performance. I think set 9 was pretty good. I think set 9.5 had some balance issues that made me very angry. Uh, there was the Bilgewater patch where it was like 7 out of 8 players. I was like the only one not playing Bilgewater every game in my lobbies. That was kind of torturous, but hopefully that was only like a week. I, I think this patch is not as bad as the Bilge, Bilgewater patch, but it is still like 4 players going Iona Vanquishes every game. I... I understand that Riot, like, cannot 
just keep making adjustments as the meta develops, and it's very hard to predict how it's going to develop. I still do maintain my stance that, um, like, anyone reading the patch notes could have known that this was going to happen. I think every challenger player read the patch notes and immediately put Zaya on the list of units that, like, are going to be OP, and, like, they're going to grab it whenever they can. Uh, I, a Zaya enjoyer from the patch before she was OP, uh, I knew, like, she was already kind of good, and I was already climbing in Challenger by playing Zaya. And then I saw that she got buffed by 20%, and I was like, this isn't real, right? Like, surely they're going to hotfix this or fix it and be like, wait, maybe that's too much of a buff. You can't buff a unit that's already pretty good by so much and then expect it to be okay. And not only that, they also buffed Jin to go alongside her. Uh, they made Jin take one less auto to cast, and they made Zaya take two less autos to cast, which is insane. I... Uh, I was actually very unhappy about that because I am a Zaya enjoyer. I enjoy playing builds that are slightly below average, but uncontested. So like, I actually like playing Azir. I like playing Zaya before this patch, uh, but now I just like look like a sheep. Like if you look at my YouTube channel, there's so many Zaya games and they're not even from this patch. They're from last patch because I really enjoyed being the one guy who would play it when nobody else would give them a chance. And then all I get on my videos is like, oh my god, box box, you're really just gonna force the best comp in the game and post a YouTube video on it? Like, wow, wow, try being creative for once. Like, those are all the comments. They don't know that it's from last patch. It's, the, the video says it's from last patch, but like, people don't read that. I, yeah, so like, I personally feel very sad about this current patch. I don't get to play my favorite build because it contested every single game because it's too good now. I. I will, I will wrap this up so that everyone, um, we're all on the same page. If you've heard me say this multiple times in the last couple weeks, I'm sorry for repeating myself. This is for all the new people that are here. I, I like TFT as a whole. I love TFT as like a concept in a game. I think it's very clever and it's like the best auto battler out there right now. Uh, I also like Riot. I've met many of them personally. I've had dinner with Mort Dog. I've had dinner with Kent. Uh, and I talk to the Riot team on a regular basis for events. Uh, we have a great relationship. I would never say anything mean about them, and I think that they're all hard workers, and they're all very good at their jobs. Uh, I do have frustrations with the current patch. Uh, I'm never going to say something like, what the fuck are you guys doing? But I will say that I am sad with the way that the meta currently is. I would love to be proven wrong. Like, maybe you could say Setsuka's performance today is evidence that the meta is actually fine. Uh, I personally think he's just a very solid player, and he, like, above average high rolled his games. I've gone first place six times in a row against challenger players before. How did I do it? I'll tell you exactly how I did it. I locked onto a build, I forced it, and then I hit it. But like, I just like, I didn't really deserve six first places in a row. I just like happened to high roll it. I think Setsuko is way better than the average challenger player. I don't think uh, any, not even the best player on the planet can first place as much as he did without like a little bit of high rolling. I think he's an amazing player. Uh, but I don't think that his performance here is evidence of, like, the meta being healthy. I find a lot of frustration in how much of uh, a lock-in at 2-1 the game is right now. Uh, I think there's, like, a tiny amount of flexibility right now where it's like, oh, I got scoped weapons, so now I can play either Mord or Nyla. But there's a lot of situations where your best play is to unfortunately just pick an augment that lines up with a really overpowered build. Or, I, I would say overpowered. Pick an augment that gives you, like, a line to a strong end game, And then you just, like, pray that you hit it. Uh, if you're really good at the game, you might be able to see a few more lines available. But I would say that's, like, the main difference. Like, I think that's why Dish Soap is so good. He, he has, like, every single line memorized. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a document. Kind of like how I have a porn folder. I wouldn't be surprised if he has, like, a lines folder. Uh, where he just, like, looks at it when he's bored. Like, and uh, it's just like, oh, yeah, oh, fuck. Jin into Ash and then pass the items to Z Oh, my God, yes. Uh, I would not be surprised if he had something like that. Um, he, like, sees two items come out. He's like, okay, these are my viable plays from this spot. Uh, the reason why this, like, helps your average placement a lot is because sometimes when I play, I'll say something like, wait, I'm fucked. Like, I don't have a line for these items. Uh, at best, I can only play one of my other lines and then just like be down an item. But if you know every single line and how to play them correctly, then it's like, wait, I just got like a triple jinx shop. Like, okay, I can play the jinx line. I have it memorized. Not me, I don't have the jinx line memorized, but Dish Soap or Setsuko could do it uh, if you manage to high roll the shop for it. 
I would say like that's like the main reason why they're so good. And like the moment they see the jinx, they like immediately the triple jinx shop, they'll immediately know like what to do next. And someone like me is like, okay, let's go check the notes. Let's go check the guide. I don't think I'm very good at the game. I think it's amazing that I hit 1100 LP. I, I don't really feel like I'm an 1100 LP player. I think that the players at the top study the game a lot, and I don't. I, every time my study group was like, want to do a study group call and like practice and like talk about the meta, uh, I always play Valorant instead. Uh, so to have placed the best out of my study group is really pog. But I'll be honest, I just forced builds the whole time. I just forced builds the whole time and then just prayed that I was the one who hit. And I, overall, this tournament, I definitely hit with above average frequency. I think I hit 60% of the time. So that was pretty lucky. Um, so in conclusion, I, on the last patch of every set, I always quit TFT, not because of any particular reason, but just like, I don't feel like rank matters at that point. So I'd rather just like take a break, wait for PBE and then come back strong. Uh, I don't want to burn out too hard. And I would definitely describe how I feel right now as very burned out. This was my best set in terms of performance. Uh, but I also feel like incredibly, uh, like burned out and tired of the game right now. I, uh, I'm sure that after a month. I'll be fine and I'll be excited for set 10. So we're still going to do like a set 10 boot camp. It's going to be very fun. Uh, my relationship with Riot is good. I hope that any Rioters watching this stream uh, did not see me complain and be like, wow, this guy hates us. No, I don't hate Riot. I love Riot. I love the game. Uh, I don't like this patch. If there's one thing I hate, it's this patch, but that can be changed very easily. Uh, the next month until PBE, my options that I'm considering right now are the League of Legends climb to Masters. Lee Sin top is good again, so I'm kind of down. Flash Ignite Lee Sin is actually being played by pros, so that's kind of like an exciting thing to play for a little bit. It'd be fun to like see if I still have it in me after three years of not playing League. Uh, since then, I've only like dabbled by doing like uh, five man ranked with like OTV or like for the occasional sponsor. Uh, the other option is we could do a Valorant climb. I, I'm Ascendant right now. It'd be fun to stream myself trying for Immortal. Uh, the problem with Valorant is that you can't really talk much while you're alive because it's a very like, you have to be like dialed in and if you like blink once at the wrong time, you could be dead and that could like throw the game. Uh, so I'm not really leaning towards that. Uh, there's also the Street Fighter grind. We're actually kind of close to Diamond, which I think is really hype. My next event, uh, it happens right before TFT set... Uh, right before TFT set 10, uh, is my Street Fighter tournament that I'm hosting with SayJam. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a boot camp. We're going to get a bunch of streamers to play Street Fighter, and they're all going to be grinding. I prepaid a bunch of coaches, and coaches are just going to be like available. You're just going like, to walk around, and there's going to be coaches offering to help. And then uh, the streamers, the 32 streamers in the event will get you know, unlimited free coaching, basically. And then after a few days, uh, the lowest ranked players each day get eliminated, and then the final few play in a tournament for 25k. Sponsored by Ludwig. Uh, and after that, TFT set 10. The last remaining option that I'm considering is a Baldur's Gate 3 run. Uh, I've been meaning to do one for a while. Uh, I said it earlier though, single player games don't do very well, on my stream at least. Uh, I try really hard to make them fun to watch. We always keep like an updated PowerPoint of like, here's what you missed. So if you ever miss one day of the stream, you can just check the PowerPoint and be like, oh, okay, I'm all caught up now. Because I think the reason why single player games don't do well is because if you weren't there for an earlier stream, you just have no context on what, what's going on. Uh, so we always do that. And then even then the viewership is never very good. I think the reason for that is just like the audience that comes here is usually here for competitive multiplayer games and not so much like an enjoyable single player storyline experience. Boxbox, I thought your Fire Emblem streams did well. Oh, they did great in terms of people who watched loved it. Uh, people didn't watch it, though. Uh, if you ever look at... There's an interesting website that I use to track the stats. Uh, Twitchtracker.com slash boxbox. I, I check every single streamer on this. It's like a graph. The red bars are how many hours you streamed that month. And the green line is how many viewers you had. All of my worst months are when I streamed some single player game. Like uh, Fire Emblem, Slay the Spire... Uh, Baldur's Gate, Elden Ring, Dark Souls. All my worst months are when I was really into a single player game. And all the 
all the big ones are when I was like grinding for challenger in whatever game I was playing. It's it's sad. It's just the unfortunate reality of like being categorized as a type of streamer. But, like you kind of have to be categorized in, as, into a type of streamer. Like I'm pretty sure if Lyric, someone who is well known for his single player streams, if Lyric were to be like, I'm gonna grind to Challenger and League, he would actually lose a lot of viewers. Just because like that's not what his audience is there for. They're there to see him like play a single player game and like make it humorous. Anyway, so that closes my thoughts. Uh we are we are done with TFT until PBE, which I believe is in like three weeks. I would say overall, great job. <laughs> Firm handshakes all around. Round of applause, everybody. Uh, we did great. I am excited to see if I can do better in set 10. In set 10, I'd like to qualify for all three cups and see if I can make it to regionals. If I performed like this in the earlier cups in set nine, I would have made it to regionals, I think. If I made it to day four on all three cups, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the qualification path is there's like a cup every month and what we just participated in is one of the monthly cups although this is the only one that I qualified for I didn't qualify for the other two I wasn't good enough back then so if you qualify for all three cups and then you do well in all of them then you move on to regionals you can either top four a cup or you can um, just like place overall well over the course of three cups and then you also make it So in set 10, I would like to uh, play in all three tournaments and then just like try to qualify for regionals through that. Would you consider yourself a pro at TFT now? No, I don't think I'd ever study the game. I, I feel like I mostly play because I think the interesting angles are interesting and I enjoy the feeling of discovery. Uh, I don't like looking up what China is doing and then like copying what they do or like analysis and VOD review. I don't enjoy that at all. I mean, I don't think any of the pros enjoy that, but like they're willing to do it to win. Uh, I feel like I'd rather just play a bunch and just try to make it funny. I think a lot of my games have not been very enjoyable in the last week because I was like trying to win. Uh, I would describe, I think my best streams were like maybe two weeks ago when I was climbing up to Challenger, but didn't hit it yet. And there was a lot of games where I would like pull something crazy out of my ass and it would work every now and then uh but lately i've just been playing like meta lines and like trying to uh, trying to maximize win rate and i feel like that leads to like kind of boring gameplay uh don't get me wrong if the meta changes and is more rewarding of creativity then you could still like get tubers and win but right now i feel like you pick a line that is known to be strong and then you just play it i I wouldn't be surprised if a new line was discovered in the last month of the set. It's happened in set six, where um, there was a really interesting one cost reroll build that existed the whole time, but nobody knew it was good. Uh, if you're wondering what it was, it was Kha'Zix, Gragas, Dawnbringer reroll. It was very weird. It was like something that people tried, didn't seem good, and then everybody just like, yeah, that, that sucks. Like, don't even play Kha'Zix, he's a bad unit. And then one guy was like, wait, what if I optimize it really hard? And then he optimized it, found the perfect lines and like uh, items. And then it was actually like discovered to be very good. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, he discovered it with like one week left in the set. And then like in the last week, it was like played all the time. Yeah, it's called Chug Bug. Uh, and I thought it was very cool that like this OP build was like hiding under our noses the whole time. There could have been like one guy who like knew about it and just like climbed infinite LP before like it became popular. What was your favorite set? Oh, definitely set six. I, I always say this exact same thing. Like in set six, you could roll it down 50 gold at level eight. And you would just like, if you were good at the game, you would always have a good board. The overall board strength may vary a little bit, but you would always have a front line and you'd always have a back line. There's like no way you couldn't because there was just so many outs. Like the only limiting factor was your level of flexibility. If you were only rolling down for a Jin, Jin was a four cost carry. Uh, if you're only rolling down for Jin and Jace, uh, Clockwork Innovator, uh, then like, yeah, you could miss. But if you're rolling down for Jin, but you're down to play Fiora Yone, which were like uh, four cost melee carries, 
that use similar items, like it was it was so doable. Like you you would hit something, and your front line didn't have to be Braum. Braum was a four cost bodyguard. I uh, wait. I might be thinking of set six point five. But like if you didn't hit your desired four cost front line. You could hit a, five, a one star five cost front line. You could hit a two star three cost front line. You could hit a different four cost front line. There were so many pieces, and I just loved how almost all of them kind of went together in some way. And I think that the reason why it worked so well was because the itemization was so open. If you had Giant Slayer, Giant Slayer, there was still like eight carries you could play. Whereas now it's like, oh well, if you don't have RFC, don't even think about playing Mord or Nyla. If you don't have this specific item, don't even think about playing this specific unit. If you don't have a Nashers, don't even think about playing Azir. If you don't have a blue buff, don't even think about playing Silco. I really liked when you could just have like a set of three items and then just like slap them on anything that you hit and it was considered good. Now, the difference in power level between like an optimized carry and an unoptimized carry is too high. Back then, there was like pretty close. Like, I'm sure that fewer and Yone, the four cost challengers, I'm sure that they had a best in slot. I'm pretty sure it was like GA, Last Whisper, and Hurricane, or something like that. But like, you could still function with Hodge, Titans, GA. You know what I mean? Uh, it was still good enough. And then Hodge, Titans, GA is realistically something you could put on Urgot, who is a two range four cost carry. I don't think that level of pivots exists in set 9 or 9.5 uh, I think at most there's like a one unit pivot you could do where it's like oh well I have an MF but if I don't hit MF3 I could play a zero two. 2 where it's like you just throw similar items onto a unit I am a big problem I have right now is that uh, half the carries are bad like right now Sorks is just very unplayable but if Sorks and a zero were playable then there would at least be a lot of fallback options if you didn't hit your main carry. You could roll down at 7, and then if you don't hit your your Velkaz 2, or your uh, Silco, you could at least play Azir. You could slap the items on an Azir, uh, and like find a way to make it work. You could play Azir at 2, MF2, instead of Silco 2, Velkaz 2. And like there should be a pivot there, but unfortunately, both of those units suck, or both of those builds suck right now, so like you're just kind of locked into it. Um, if you have AD items, you should be able to roll at 7 for your Zaya and Nyla, but then if you don't hit, play Aphelios, Sejuani, Ash. Uh, sorry, Aphelios, Sejuani, Jace. You should be able to do that, but you can't right now because like half the units are just like unclickable. I feel like so many of my early shops are already like... It's already just like, okay, these units are bad. Don't even think about them. And these units are good. Hold on to the good units. Okay, next shop. These units are good. These units are bad. Hold the good units. And then, like, eventually, I just, like, of my remaining good units that I hit, I'm just like, okay, what can I play here? And then some games, you'll hit, like, almost no good units, and you're just like, fuck. I just lose. But in reality, it should be more like, hold your favorite angle, everything works. That's what it was like in set six. And, like, I may just be looking back with rose-tinted lenses, but, like, I'm pretty sure set six was truly flexible like that. I remember having games where I was just like, dude, I'm, I'm just the best. I'm just Da Vinci at TFT right now. And then I like maneuvered through like four different board states where like my main carry or my main trait like changed four times. Anyway, uh, thanks for some of my little ramblings. I... Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. It was a it was a good run of my competitive TFT career. Uh, ooh, flashbang. Uh, what do I want to do now? I'm gonna play the ad break, and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do now. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go send out some messages to some people and see if I can put something together.
What is Celine doing? Um, Aileen is um, um, getting our food real quick. Oh, wait, she's okay. playing with Shroud? Cast him. He's good. He's, nice. uh, oh man, she's too cool for us. Why does it keep flashbanging? I just messaged Scar saying wanna play and he said, let's play some TFT. No. Okay, it's looking good. People have been, people are saying yes. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I sent out some messages. Uh, great news. I sent out four messages. Uh, I messaged Peter Park, Celine, Timmy, and Skara. And Peter Park said, I'm down. Skara said, let's play some TFT. I said, no. And then he said, OK, lol. We can play something else later. Uh, so he said he's down. Timmy said he's down after his current game, and Celine said nothing. She didn't. She didn't reply. But Celine's in the same lobby as Timmy, so maybe they'll be fine. So it sounds like in like twenty minutes we'll have something to do. Um, okay, great news. Uh, I have this old app. Uh, I need to full screen my face for a second. I have this old app that we used to use. Oh, by the way, uh, I just turned my alerts back on. If you subbed or donated during the tournament, my alerts were off because uh, we're not allowed to like receive outside help. Uh, now they are back on. So if you were waiting to gift 100 subs until just now, you can do so now. Dang. But yeah, thank you to all the people who subscribed during that time. Okay, uh, so I had these old apps that we used to do to kill time on our stream, which were pretty fun little mini games I had made for you guys specifically. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Shiny Magikarp. Uh, but they didn't work anymore because they're like old and outdated. Uh, but I sent them to Carlos, the doctor, for fixing, uh, and he spent 30 minutes and fixed it. Thanks, Carlos. He sent them back to me. Uh, he said they're all patched up and they should work now. Hello, Dark Chocolate. Hello, Reversed Aura. Let's see if it works. Let me attempt to launch it and see if there's any errors. Hello, Moogle Flesh. Hello, Witchy Broccoli. Welcome. Carlos is such a, such a bro. If you don't know about Carlos, I've talked about him every now and then. He's my tech guy. Uh, when I was 16 years old and my stream first became popular, he was a 16-year-old fan that sent me an email saying, Hey, Albert, want You have now reached 2,000 pogs today. 
how about I make you a bot that can do some trivia on your stream? I was like, okay, I'm down. And he just made it for me for free. Uh, and then ever since then, I've hired him part-time as my tech guy. I uh, And now I'm 27. He's 27. He's still my, he's still my tech guy. Uh, he recently got promoted to full-time. Now he gets a full-time salary. And he works on projects for me full-time, which is awesome. Uh, he's very skilled at what he does. And he totally has the power to, like, fuck me over if he wanted to. Like, he gets, like, internal access to my PC. He could do whatever he wants. He could steal everything. He could even steal my Pog folder. Uh, but his idea of a prank uh, is to make Box Box Bot moan uh, 1% of the time. That's what he did to me on uh, April Fool's. He made it so that Box Box Bot would randomly go like, ah! Ah, oh, he's great. Okay, let me go ahead and see if I can open these files. Sorry, I gotta figure out how this works. I haven't used Game Maker in a long time. Hmm? Here another ten dollars. Love Ooh. your streams. You my boy. Your streams really are fun to me no matter what you play. Sad reality that not many more stick around to watch what you want to play. Also uh -huh. what happened to that Slay the Spire coop? Coop? Oh, co-op. Co-op. I uh, I didn't feel like it was, like, hype enough. Slay the Spire Co-op's a bit hard to follow what's going on, but it is a fun game. Thank you very much for the $10, Pika Chao Chu. Okay, if you guys are wondering what we're doing now and why you're staring at my face, stare a little bit longer. I'm trying to get my old programs to work. We're just, like, waiting for people to be available soon. Oh, my God. Does it actually work? Pause, champ. All right. Either my computer's about to explode or the app is going to launch. Uh-oh. Hmm. Let me try loading it directly from Game Maker. Import project. I forgot how to use this. Oh, wait, this looks like it's it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Play. Everybody pause. It's loading, compiling. Don't crash, don't crash. Oh! Dang it. Okay, wait, hang on. I'm not ready to give up yet. So Carlos sent me this folder called Twitch Survivor Export, which is like the the old app. And there's a game.win, a game.yy debug, options, and runner xyz. So I'm going to click this exe file and see what happens. Nothing happened. I think you're supposed to open this runner.xyz file. 12 megabytes. Carlos sent me some notes. He said, run the game from the gamemaker.exe. Oh, you must set up, wait, okay, hang on. He said, you must set up twitch.ini. Okay, downloading twitch.ini. Oh shit. Okay, here's a twitch.ini. All right, does it work now? Man, what are the odds I'm like installing a virus right now? It 
It doesn't work. What if I just call Carlos? He is my full-time tech guy now, but what if he just picks up the phone? Let's try the phone. Carlos is working. Oh, hello? Hello? Hey, Carlos, uh, I'm streaming right now. Uh, I'm trying to get the app to work, but it it's like opens a window and then closes immediately. Yeah, see, I was worried about that. Uh, the way that I did it isn't how you're supposed to do it, so I have to pay money to like build an EXE, so I guess I'll do that and get back to you later. Oh, wait, you have to pay money? Yeah, that's uh, they, they have a subscription pro uh, thing now where you have to like pay yearly to build EXEs, <laughs> so I tried to bypass that and it finally didn't work. Can I just open the file in Game Maker and then launch it through Game Maker? You have Game Maker Studio? I have Game Maker Studio. Uh, I can probably send you the projects. Let me get on my computer and do that because I'm working on my motorcycle right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me the project and I'll just open the project directly. Okay, we'll do it. All right, thanks, Carlos. What a great guy. All right, well, I know what we can do for a few minutes. Wait, why is everyone saying motorcycle? Did he say something about a motorcycle? Oh, he did? Oh, I didn't even realize. Wait, what did he say? Oh, he was working on his motorcycle. Oh, okay. I was worried you guys were gonna say something like he's riding a motorcycle. I was like, that's dangerous. Street Fighter Six. All right, let me change my title. Yeah, his hobbies are motorcycling and drawing. He likes to draw like sexy anime women. All right, are you guys ready for this? Welcome to the box box training arc. Let me show you guys what I've learned. So I've been playing Street Fighter for about 40 hours now. And let me show you guys what I've learned. So first, if you hold left, you can pog. Okay, so Street Fighter is basically just glorified rock, paper, scissors many times with fancy graphics. You can move in, you can dash back, you have health, you have mana, and you have your super bar, which is on the bottom left. Uh, you have basic attacks like this. You have special attacks like this. And you can grab. You can then use mana. There's probably another word for it, but I don't know what it is. But you can use mana on the top to like empower your abilities. Sometimes it does more damage, sometimes it adds iframes, uh, sometimes it adds extra effects. Okay, then your super. Everyone has three levels of supers, they come up very fast, they do a lot of damage. They're like the big move, the big pog. If you listen very closely, he says, you took the wrong guy to Memphis. Okay, and I didn't know this about Street Fighter until I started playing, but when you're moving backwards, you're guarding. You can either low guard like this, or you can walk backwards, which blocks all regular hits. If you walk backwards, you can get hit by low hits like this. So like, you might be able to like, Okay, but then if you're crouching, then you can get hit by overheads, like that, like this, or even like this. Okay, one more thing I need to tell you guys about, the drive impact, it costs one mana. It like, it's like a counter. If they hit you and then you hit him back with this, they take insane amounts of damage. Also, if they get knocked into a wall, it does like extra damage. But if you do this and they do it back to you, you're fucked. Okay, so, a lot of the game is just like, kind of like guessing. Are they gonna grab you? Are they gonna medium hit you? Are they gonna overhead hit you? Are they going to low hit you? And then you just like react appropriately. All right, with that being said, let's get started. Now that you know the basics, you can now pog if I win. 
Uh, I'm trying to hit diamond. I recently learned a combo. I know, baby's first combo, right? I can show you guys the combo while I'm in. Like, Valorant should do this. Valorant should let you get into the range. Valorant should let you get into the range while you're uh, waiting. But yeah, let me show you guys the first combo I learned. It's a really easy combo. Up until Platinum, I've been doing this. Like, it's the easiest combo ever. But now... Alright, I'll show you guys later. Wait, he just like did the... Ah! Alright. I like to start off with fireballs. Grab. Oh! Oh! Oh no. It appears I'm getting rolled. Oh! Okay, hang on. I can do better than that. No! I got on. Hello, Zuzukas. Okay, wait. I kind of got the read from getting perfect KO to making it close. Watch this. I walk up, I grab. He's good at his anti airs. I need to do some low attacks. Favorite location right now. Guard. Uh oh. Wait, no, 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 he's gonna do the thing, no, I was so close, ow, that looks incredibly painful, Jamie wins, that guy was too good for me, holy shit, that guy was so good, Okay, here's the combo that. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, 
Oh, what a cute smirk. All right, you ready? All right, I always start off with two fireballs. Dang. Whoa! Uh-oh. Wow, this is not looking good for box box believers right now. Okay, new plan. Dash, jab, grab. Dash and grab. Oops, I didn't mean to jump. Good for box box believers. Oh no, she's jamming. Uh, okay, think, think. What if I jump towards her and then uh, that, and then take her to my favorite location? Oh, that kills. Let's go. She's not gonna jump, she's gonna jump. What is this? I don't know what that move is. Oh, drive reversal. I have no idea how to do that. What? I thought I had the read. grab more I need to grab I gotta grab I gotta grab her man calm down Albert focus you got this I don't think you got this um okay so let's try just doing that and then jump ah! she's gonna Check this out. Let me show you what I've learned. Watch this. Oh. Oh. 
God, it's just so easy. Go ahead and check on the status of. Oh, hello. Meet me on the cord. Scara reached out. Meet me on the cord. That's short for Discord. Uh, we're just me and Discord are cool like that, so I can abbreviate it. Hello. Hi! Uh, Hello. Hello! Hi! Is it time for Street Fighter? Uh, what? realistically not. Oh. I was just doing that while I was waiting for everyone. Oh. Wait, it's time for TFT? Dude, I just played my last game of TFT. So you don't want to play my my Silver Marissa? You don't want to play TFT oh, wait, with I'll us? I'll play against you, Peter, really quick. We're waiting for two more. Oh, oh shit. Okay, oh no. <laughs> wait, wait, please. Open yeah, up yeah. the street. Let, let, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, Scar, you need to get in here too, buddy. I don't even have it installed on my PC. No fucking way you uninstalled it. No, I have the PC. I have not installed reinstalled it. Um, okay, let me show you guys really quickly before the game starts my new combo. Just know that I'm endlessly disappointed in you, Scar. Here comes a new challenge. I mean, I. I, Endlessly. Nothing can match the shame of me downloading Lost Ark. I am crying video. tears of blood and cum as we speak. What? Dude, did you know I did a map that felt like shit? Wait, what? It's crazy. Wait, what happened? What felt yeah. like shit? I took a nap and I feel like shit. <laughs> oh, you know how I warned you guys that naps are, are fucking coin flips? I you lost. You lost your coin flip, buddy. You, you really lost. lost. Try to teach you a lesson. Did you drink water before? Yeah, I always drink water. Oh. I'm the most hydrated person you know. That is actually so fucking true. You are like 80% water. I think most people are. Really? How much of the human body is water? 60%? God damn. You see, you're 80% though, so you go above oh. and beyond. Place my brain. But you're, you're still cracked at video games. <laughs> I didn't know what to say to that. Hold on, I'm gonna get some water. Speaking of, be right back. I'm gonna get some chicken, I'll be right back. No, I threw, I threw. I threw, I threw. Wait, I gotta chill, I gotta chill. Just by time, by time. No, it's over. Oh no. No! Okay, but what if I make the comeback? You have now reached 200 flush today.
She keeps doing that. She runs and then does nothing. Oh, Albert. Oh, you dumb fuck. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, Albert, I'm in. Okay, I'll invite you after my I, I get owned on this last match. Oh, oh, I see you're playing another Marissa player. I see. Wait, you play Marissa? You play Muscle Mommy? I play Muscle Mommy, but I don't know how to play the game, so don't don't be too worried. Am I dead? By the way, what game are we playing? We're we playing Valorant. I wanted to play. Va I wanted to play Valorant. Oh, I wanted to play Valorant, but uh, uh, Celine and Timmy are not available. If we can find a couple more. Okay. <gasps> Are you playing on a delay, Albert? No. Do I need to refresh your stream? Hold on. Oh, maybe this friend request thing just came in hella late. Wait, I don't think I added you. No, no, I just I just sent a friend request. And I saw oh. the, the friend request received on your on your UI. But I sent the friend request a while ago, which is why I thought you were on a delay. But I think Capcom system is probably delayed. How do I even? I don't know how to use the UI. Like, how do I even find you? Uh, press X. I'll just create a room and invite you. That also works. All right, Peter. Let's see what you got. But I'm uh, Scar, if you're wondering, the game I was playing, playing was Valorant or League. I'm down for League. Really? You're down for some League? I've been playing okay. a lot of League lately. I'm still bad at it though, but I've been playing yeah. a lot of League. I I just finished my tournament for TFT, and now I'm taking a break until set ten. So I've got like one month to do whatever. So Valorant League. Wait, you're done with TFT? Uh, I don't like the current patch. I think like it could be better, but I already don't play the last patch of the set just cause like, I don't think people rank matters there. Uh, so like it's the second last patch and like, I don't like this patch. So I'm just gonna take a break early. Yo, mm. that's smart. The patch is Bro. not flexible. Uh, so yeah, I was happy. Dude, I made it to day four. Yeah, yo. Where did I put my watch? Oh my God, I left my watch. 
Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, for oh, what yeah. it's worth, I started. I was watching your games today, and the one game I I tuned into, you got first with Gunners. So that was pretty fog. Yeah, I a lot of the game right now is just like you coin flip a build and then you go all in on it. So like I went eighth first, eighth first, and then fifth to not make it by one point. That is. I mean, it's fine. That's uh, I was pretty happy overall. Making it to day four was already like insane. Hi, right, Peter. What's yeah, your username? Uh, I want to just say it's Peter Park. Yeah, Peter Park. One word. All lowercase. Yeah. The Titans. <laughs> Are you Peter Park too. or Peter Parkinson's or Peter Parker? Uh, <laughs> used to be Peter Parkinson's, but no, oh, just, just Peter Park now. Okay. I invited you. Did you uh, get it? Yes, I did. You know what's funny is like I don't know how to accept it. Hold on. Do I just go to versus one on one? You have no. to go to like the custom room and then view invites. All right, give me one sec. So the craziest thing happened earlier. Mm -hmm. It's actually not that crazy, but I ordered Boba to celebrate my day three win yesterday. Mm -hmm. And they gave me the wrong person's order. But mm -hmm. uh, some guy named Vincent ordered like a giant ice cream boba, which actually ended up being a much better celebration. It was like wow. like a one and a half foot tall cup of ice cream boba. <laughs> okay. And I was like, Vincent, you dirty boy. Wow, this is huge. What? Dude, what? Nice. Well, congratulations on making it to... Wait, so are you just out now? Well, I mean, it's today's the last day. So every day they cut out half the players. So I made it to day four, uh, and then I didn't make uh, if I make it one point. So like, it, uh, day four is the last day. I see. All right, let's see what you got. Um, I think the Marissa you just played is a lot better than me, and you just whooped her ass. So also, I haven't played this game in a while. So let us see if I remember how to play. No, you know, I'm just warming up. Just war mm. Okay. Oops. Ah! Did I tell you about personal vendetta against Marissa? What was that? Did I tell you about personal vendetta against Marissa? Oh, do you? Yeah. I can't tell. I haven't noticed. Yeah, so my personal vendetta is because uh, I started playing Street Fighter because of the Ludwig event. And then uh -huh. I was eliminated here uh, because uh -huh. Erup told me he didn't really play Street Fighter. So when I uh -huh. had to choose my opponent, I picked him because neither of us knew how to play. But it turns right. out he actually has played. And he, oh. he played a lot. And he played Marissa? Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, All right. Whoa. I just wait, need wait. to remember how to play. Yeah, yeah give me one I second. I got this. Wait, give me one sec. Give me one sec. Wait a second. So what are you up to? Oh, Did I win? Yeah, nice win. Am I on the left or right? You're on the right side. Okay. I won! 
Full on, let's fucking go! Piss <laughs> back. How did it how did I uh my friend kicked my ass with a blindfold on. I oh, played really? quite a lot, so I was wondering how he did it. Right, I know someone off. I know someone performed really well at the turn like a recent tournament and they I think they're, they're legally blind. Legally blind, right? Yeah. Oh wait, that's insane. Yeah, no, he's like famous for it. He streams too. <laughs> Imagine losing to a person who's just blind. He's diamond or masters. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! Oh god, I can't believe you're so good blindfolded. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do something sick. Oh. Oh. Alright, uh, I'm definitely not him. Oh, I was trying to perfect parry. Ooh. Ooh. No! He held me to my favorite location. Oh god, is, is it downtown? It's Memphis. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, I'm alive. How the fuck? Rip. Alright, you guys have anyone for Valorant? We're league? If we can find two more, uh, we can start playing. I can message some people. Yeah, send us some invites really quick. Sorry, Scry, I don't mean to make you third wheel. I mean, it's fine. I like that. Oh. Okay, then feel free to third wheel all you want. Mm -hmm. Scar, get in here. It's your turn. Does Scar Bro. play? Oh, he does. Fine. I'll fucking, I'll fuck... Wait, I don't even think I get... I, give me one in the game. Let me install. All right. All right. All right. Rematch, rematch. This time, I, I've downloaded you. Easy clap. No problem. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can we, do you want to set like a handicap or do you want to just like go raw? Just go, just fucking oh, go, okay. man. All right, let's go raw. I learned by going in raw. You guys said handicap. You serious? Looking down on you, Peter. Show them why they call you the best Marissa in silver. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh god, please, not like this. I have a family. Oh! Oh! Give me a break. I got you. What? At least it wasn't a perfect. I'll take it. Bro, can you can you play a little bit longer? I only got five gigabytes in. I need fifty-seven. That was the worst diss on what Albert said. Oh god. Ah! Oh! I took one off him! I took one! I did it! I'll take it! You have now reached 100 it, gems man. today. Okay. My pride, my ego! Oops. Oh god, it's Jover! Oh god, level three. Now you know Ah! 
Well oh done, Peter. My Wait, you, God. you kicked my ass! Let's go, dude! I'm the best Marissa in silver, baby. Okay. You picked I up have your the body just like that? No, stop having a reaction speed. Uh-oh. <clears throat> wow, I can't believe Albert would cheat. That's crazy. I guess his friends, too. Do you have anger inside of you? Yes. Any rage? Luke wins. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's because I need to change character. That's why, for sure. For sure. That's oh, why. okay. I need bigger I thighs. I need bigger thighs. That's what I. That's need. a secondary. Hello, JJ Ninja. Some people are one chicks. Peter's versatile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's. Oh my god. Is. It's the girl who I can never lose to because if she if I lose to her, she shows her ass on stream and I get banned. <laughs> oh, well. I do think she's kind of cute. Beginning oh of my god. Wait, what a fun. costume. Yep. So I learned a trick where you just stand. So I... Wow. Wait. <laughs> I'm so distracted by these thighs! That's exactly what I wanted. You fell for my trap. My trap's not strong enough. I need bigger thighs. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No! Oh! I can't believe you would beat women. That's crazy. That's an Albert classic. We've been doing that for years. Oh. No fair. Why do his punches punch faster than my punches? Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. We're trying to get you banned on stream. Let's fucking do it. Scar, what's your download at? 35 out of 60 gigabytes. That's pretty fast, honestly. anymore mom i want to go home <laughs> yeah peter i think if you got a 15 minute lesson on defense you'd be very good at this game very quickly no way i noticed I like most of the reason why there, I'm waiting is no you don't block as often what blocking that's a coward's game i only attack yeah oh, you should play ken read i just want to see my thighs though like if i'm blocking i can't see my thighs uh, you you can look at your thighs. I disagree. You're asking him to play Ken? Dude, I get it. You've distracted me with this conversation about defense. Oh, that's the way I would have won. All right, run it back. You One, more cheating this time. One more time. He literally Damn. didn't even. Luke's arms are huge. Whoa. Wait, I just realized. 
All right, Peter. Yes. I'm gonna make this one extra hurting to the ego, okay? Oh. Oh. Okay, wait. This might not be damaging to your ego. Do you feel your like your ego is being hurt right now? My ego is so hurt right now. But I just, I'm more oh! focused on my thighs. I'm trying to perfect parry you and I can't. I don't even know what that is. It's when you get like a frame perfect. Does it require guard. blocking? Uh, parry. Guarding cringe. Wait, I'm gonna pull this off. Okay, I might be dead. Ow, ow. Okay, now you're starting to hurt my ego. Right. Who's next? Round two. Ow! Ow! That's cheating. You know that, right? I'm gonna give you the most humiliating death. Damn it, that was quite humiliating. <laughs> Memphis. Anyone who's from Memphis can eat Tennessean food. All right, I'm wait, over wait. the thighs. Before um, do do we fire off messages already to people? Uh, I fired off a few, but no no bites yet. Let me send off some messages really quick. Let's see if we can get Timmy and Celine said they're down after their thing, which is at least like an hour from now. So I'm guessing it's not not realistic. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's go ahead and send out some other messages. Let me go ahead and find some. Oh, shoot. This this person's in the game? Interesting. Are you talking about Aki? Yeah. That yeah, she just got added Shader? in. Dude, she's very sensual. Like, if you oh, lose really? to her, she, like, gets really inside of you. Okay, I want to get really inside of you, Albert. Okay. Are you ready for me to be very, very deeply inside of you? I uh, know. I'm going to uh, feel your on. every crevasse. Oh, Street Fighter is telling me that I need to shade my warmings. Is, is, do I, I'm supposed to click yes? I believe so. Mm. Well, so I have the game installed, but I don't have anything else. Like, it's it's compiling shaders. Okay, no problem. Uh, give me one sec. I need to check something. I'm hacking into the mainframe. Wait, I think it works. All right, Carlos sent me the updated files. Let's see if it runs. Oh my God, it works so cleanly. 
Wait, I'm done. Can you guys try something for me? Type the phrase exclamation mark join red blob. Exclamation mark join space red space blob. Does that work? Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, now try. Exclamation mark join red blob. Hmm. Didn't work. Uh oh. Hmm. Try join blob. Join red. I don't know. Try some combination. This is like an old app. It's looking like it's not working. Let me ask Carlos if he understands why it's not connecting. So something about the Twitch chat connectivity didn't work correctly. No, oh, the app runs, but otherwise not really. Let me see. Exclamation mark, join red ball. I guess that doesn't work. Oh wait, one second. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, wait, like you're in Street Fighter? Yeah. Okay, let me invite you to the lobby. Okay. How did I accept this invite? Uh, Peter, how did you join? I sent it. I, I sent. Uh, how how do I accept that invite? Oh, uh, on the very right, there's custom games. I think on the bottom, somewhere. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, I don't even know my. I don't know my buttons. That's okay. I'm All sure right, Peter perfect. will be nice. Face me, because I don't. I don't know how this character. Wait, can Albert? Can you spectate this or no? How does that work? Uh, let me see if I can. Oh, I can, I can. Oh, I look psychopathic. What the fuck? Yeah, Aki kind of like that. Okay. Oh, I don't like this costume I chose, though. Poison's on the menu. She's oh, what cute. the? I'm snaking. Oh, it doesn't do damage, what the though. Heck? Is that <laughs> your dad? Do, the... It doesn't do damage. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the? <laughs> that move is too fun. Wow, that's fucked up that you won't let me just snake on you, man. Scar, any reason why you chose a Manon? She's kind of like Fiora. This character is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it out. You're figuring it out. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I figured it out. Round two. Oh, what the? Get me out of your bosom. Okay, so Scar, how new are you to the game? Oh, no! no! Oh, wait, am I muted? Oh. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I can't respond because my push attack is my mouse button. Oh, I see, he's, I see. He's in the state of focus. Yeah. Um, I played like, I don't know, like 40 games. Really? 40? Make sure you do your level 3 super at some point. Insane I don't know which one. Oh my god. Oh, that was not my. Oh, what? Oh the my fuck? god. I don't understand. Okay. I, she throws strings at me? Oh, Jesus. What? I got it. I got it. It's not like a horror movie. Yeah, what the hell? I want to change costume though. This costume sucks ass. Wait, how do you get costumes? I've been using default Luke the whole time. Uh, there's like a store, but I think also in this mode, since we're not online or like we're not in like a public lobby, you get you could use the costumes for free. Because I definitely did not buy this costume. Oh, oh, whoops. Manon has nice legs. Yes, she does. Oh God, am I dead? I'm dead. Oh God, you got four in the time first Manon round. I think every time grabs you, it does more damage. Yeah, it go. It stacks the five metal. So she got four in the first, which is really bad. <laughs> God damn oh, it. wait, it like, st it stays? Yeah, it stays. Wait, so there's like a yep. concept of like a late game character. Oh yeah. Watch this damage, hold up. Uh-oh. 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 Asshole, holy shit. Wait, so you're at five now, so I grab just like, it's, it's oh, Joker. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Right, just grab. Yeah. Oh right, my let me God. change my costume. It's the co it's a costume. It's a costume, yeah, it's a costume. It's the costume for sure, bro. It's slowly coming back. It's not really coming back to me. Let me f it's uh dr I need a dry rush with this character so you can never get in, man. Alright. Alright. Oh, Emily Wang. If you wanna come play with us, I'm pretty sure if you play we'll have five. All right, I have no right one, now. by the way. Where's like playing this way? Wait, I, I also more. have no one. Uh, I might have two. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I might have two. I have at least one. I have like one and a half. A combined one thousand LP and TFT between the two people. Oh. oh. Wait, wait, really quickly. Can you guys play a match with something on the line? I want to spectate. Yeah, I thought this, you can't, you can't spectate. I, I was spectating. I was watching. Hello? Yeah, after we're, I, I have to focus and think about what, can you think of what would be something that's good on the line? No! Uh, wait, are, are you guys in game right now? Yeah, we're in game. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't realize. <laughs> I thought you guys were just like. Oh, you thought we were just ignoring you? Oh no, 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 no! We're gaming. Okay, nothing on the line here. Let me, uh, let me come up with something good. Oh, rip. All right, I don't want to play this character anyway. If we're putting something on the line, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Swap to your real character. Swap to your real character. Oh, God. Oh, right. no. Ignore, ignore. Go, to, go to return custom. What? Okay. No, I just said return to custom. Oh, you're right. How do we quit? <laughs> we can't. Just finish. Let's just do this. Okay. All right, what were you saying, Albert? Uh, well, yeah, quit out. Quit out of this. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. Okay, it's not just, letting me. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm running at him. I'm just running at him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is how a normal game would go anyway, you know? <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Wait, why is your name A.K.I? A what? What? I what think that's that technically what my character's name is. It's my name's Aki. Aki. Oh, hello? Is that you, Sajam? Yeah, what up? Hello. What's good? Oh Yo, what is up? your opinion it's on this uh, Street Fighter gameplay you're looking at right now? The best I've ever seen in my life. This is the Evo oh. Grand Finals. Oh, oh I'm god. The best. It's 
Scar is kind of getting, he's kind of getting stabbed though. I can't lie. Yeah. Happens. Uh, uh, All right. Oh, hello, Emily. We're going to start the Valorant soon. They're just going to do one match, one set with uh, something on the line. What are we, what uh, are we on, the line? on the line? And I think on the line, since we're going to play Valorant, uh, the loser has to buy guns for the winner for the next two rounds. The first two rounds of the game. All right. Roger that. Yeah, it's like the sheriff. Yep. Uh, you start, you're, I mean, if you lose, you're starting the Valorant with zero gold twice in a row. Oh. I like that you said zero gold. Like, you're just like, yeah, you have no econ. Yeah. You're so TFT yeah, it's brain. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I got it. We're rolling right, down. Let's go. Let me get in. Okay, okay, I have to warn you guys, I haven't played Valor in like a year. That's okay. That's fine. So I'm about scar scars. At least you're going to have money. Right now. What? Wow. You that's... wish. <laughs> Just kidding. Hmm. I'm away. Hmm? Huh? We, uh, we held hands in the tournament. Oh yeah, I saw. We both one point off. But, okay. <clears throat> it was still a good run though, right? Like, you had, um... Yeah. It's not looking good for you, Skara Chen. Wait, no. Manon has two stacks. I didn't know you could carry your stacks over each fight. I thought it, like, reset. No, so, like, she like, gets the... Up? Yeah, so when she has five, her command grab does 3,700 damage, and every character besides three has 10,000 life. So okay. it's like, I yeah, most you guys, of your life. You're playing um, first to two sets. First to two sets. Wait, say, Jim, is that normally what they do in the tournament? First to two sets? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's like a unless it's like, three. Yeah, unless it's like top eight or like, like super deep in a tournament, then they do like three out of five instead, but... Okay. Normally, it's first two. Oh, they're dancing. We're dancing. I noticed oh. you're not a. Oh god. No, you're <laughs> Wait. Wait, why couldn't Peter block that? <laughs> it's a low. Uh, oh, it's a low hit. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh! Is that what Alvaro was trying to do this whole time? Yeah. I see. He's at four stacks. Five stacks. And wait, is it over? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, no, but no. I don't have life. <laughs> But that will kill oh. I, I think you were in grab range after you that hit, but it's just no. Uh, you can't grab these big mommy milker arms. <laughs> That's for five. Best of three. Best of three. Is Manon's level three super like uh? Like can she use You have it now reached three hundred flush today. Yeah, it's a grab. It's like a. Play in normal mortal. Dude, this is brutal. Wait, say Jam, I don't understand. Why is Scar simply letting Peter beat him? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it's it's for it's for uh morale. I think Watch it's it. So we can do better in Valorant yeah. maybe. Oh look at the reflexes. Oh yeah, baby! That's the stuff! Grab, really? Sorry, don't let me don't let me distract you. The optimal punish right now. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. No, yes. <laughs> oh, Scar. Oh no. I I fuck got you one here. Let's fucking go! You're buying my guns! <laughs> Gotta go, guys. We're, I'm uninstalling this game again. That's actually top. You made Sora install, and then he played two games, and that's it. That's like, that's messed up. It's okay. It's okay. Wait, it's, that's it's true. what he I deserve. He installed the game, Peter beat the shit out of him twice, and then now we're, he's uninstalling that's the like game. A, that's like a classic fighting game experience, I find.